All right. Let's do a mic check. Can anybody hear me? Oh, if I forgot to turn the microphone on again, that is going to be just so depressing, isn't it? I'm checking my monitor to make sure that I can even see the stream streaming. And we are live. Can everybody hear me? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Technical issues. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to give it a second for everybody to get in. I know everybody's just chilling out today. <laughs> But welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness. How is everybody's weekend going? Long weekend. Holiday weekend. I'm doing great. I am I'm vibing this weekend. <laughs> um uh, yeah. I'm just chilling out and enjoying the uh the uh the extra day that everybody has off which will surely uh mess up my um barometer of how the rest of the week goes because tomorrow's gonna feel like a monday <laughs> oh yeah here in the u.s we have a holiday weekend so today is like you know uh we get a we get uh the day off pretty much most people have today off so yeah, sorry, I forget that people are technically viewing from all around the world. Uh, but yeah, just, just, uh, just chilling out. So, um, the plan today, um, and obviously all of these VODs will be available for later viewing, like all my VODs are, but the plan today is that I'm going to start doing, um, a playthrough. I'm going to start streaming my way through the Nancy Drew PC game. If, if uh, people remember, I'm uh, I I used to cover. I actually did videos about the first two games in the series. So this one that we're going to play today, and then the one that comes after it in the series. And um, yeah, so we're going to do um, a live stream where I'm going to play through live, and the chat can help me solve the game. Uh, and then, you know, the next live stream, we'll do the second game and we'll just keep going. And uh, yeah, so it'll just be kind of a chill way to go through the games because I wanted to talk about more of these games, but I can't really do like a proper video about all of them. It would take forever and ever. So I figured this was the best way to kind of just refresh everybody's memory about the series and get to kind of share some of my opinions on it because I really love it. Hello. Oh, hello from Croatia. I didn't know we, you guys had a national holiday too today. Nice. Croatia is absolutely beautiful. I'd love to go there one day. Um, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. People are coming in. <laughs> I'm going to do something that'll probably make everybody leave the stream. Who was on stream with me? when I was reading through Nancy Drew's Secret of the Old Clock, the book, and I subjected everybody to the Nancy Drew rap. <laughs> That's from this game. <laughs> it's hidden in the files. Uh, and of course I'm going to play it before we play the game. Everybody just leaves stream right now. Oh my god. Yeah, so there's a Nancy Drew rap. Um, it is the most late 90s thing you will ever hear. Uh, yeah, let's just get this out of the way while we're here. Oh, you were here for the reading. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for being back. Yep, it's time to play the rap. So let's just get this over with. Shout out to Argelfump. I have this pulled up on his channel so we can uh, listen to this together. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Like a bullet from a gun. She arrived on the scene. Oh gosh. A detective who doesn't know the meaning of fear. When she's hot on the case. No time to waste when you're face to face. With the evil that is looking but you just.
just can't see it. I hope can, I hope you guys are hearing this and I also feel bad for you that you're hearing this. You don't know what to do. Get down with the drew crew. Bars. <laughs> just correct. Yeah. Be a little afraid. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's only like a minute and a half long and then it's gonna be over. Yeah, the backup vocals. Bad boys and girls, your history locked up. Where your choices are few. A resident of the room without a view. You the crime and it's time you will do. Another victim of the truth crew. So that's that. Uh, just so that you're aware of the time period that this first game was made in. Um, yeah, so this game came out in 1999. Did, did it get given away? Was it? Um, yeah, <laughs> Grandmaster Flash meets Spooky Scary Skeletons. I can see it. Um, yeah, so uh, that's a thing. Is there no reason for the O's? There's no reason. There's no reason for any of, of that. It's just a thing that they did. I'm not even convinced that the people on the track aren't just some of the um, like game engineers because they were a very small company back then. Uh, and you start to see this like reoccurring theme throughout the games where like, um, oh, this guy who's like our project manager, he voiced like 10 different characters in the games. Forgot how old they are. Yeah, because technically the newest game came out like last last year, two years ago, 2020, I think it came out. Um, so, like, they were being released all throughout my childhood, and I was really into them starting when I was in, like, late elementary school, um, middle school age. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have played some of these games. It looks like some of you have, but, yeah, they started coming out in 1999, and I actually didn't always know, but this first game is actually based on a book that came out in the 80s with the same name uh secret nancy drew secrets can kill so it's very old <laughs> it's got a very retro vibe let's just put it that way are the games based on the books or original stories some are some are based on books and some are original stories created by the development team um, for example, game number 10 is um, Secret of Shadow Ranch. That's based on a, one of the classic Nancy Drew books. Um, I'm pretty sure the first couple of games are based on some Nancy Drew books that came out in the Nancy Drew Files series in the 80s. Um, yeah, so I... Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Secret of the Old Clock, obviously, they did for the 75th anniversary of Nancy Drew. That's based on Secret of the Old Clock, the game, and a couple other books are mixed in there uh, to kind of give the game its own story that's unique. But yeah, only seen them through videos. Yeah, so I uh, grew up, I if you watched Argle Fump, <laughs> I absolutely uh, loved. And still, by the way, when I still like want to play one of these games through just for like the comfort of the nostalgia, I still will put on Michael Gray's videos because it reminds me of being in middle school trying to beat the game and listening to Michael Gray do his commentary, which was always hilarious while he helped me solve the puzzles. So, yeah. So today is just going to be a chill stream while I try to solve the first game. Um, and yeah, yeah. Making sure that I don't have any technical issues i've never run one of these games on stream before it's also the some of these games especially when we're playing through the early parts of the series very old i'm gonna have to save a lot to make sure that like i it doesn't crash and i don't have to like start all over in the middle of this because i will cry but yeah 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 just gonna be chilling out let me try something Streamception. Let's see if this actually works. If I can get the stream running.
Yep, you'll get to see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, if I was just sitting here playing the game and not showing anybody any gameplay, that would be hilarious. <laughs> but nope, uh, I am... Looks like you guys can see this. Uh, and everybody can hear the game and me. Is that something that's still happening, I hope? Yep, this is OG Secrets Can Kill. So for those of you who don't know, at one point they remastered this game because it's so old and janky, but this is like the original one. I'm gonna get to that eventually, but you know, we're starting like, we're literally starting at the beginning with game number one. <laughs> right, everybody can hear, so let's just get into it. <laughs> The jankier, the better. Well, you're gonna love this game, because this game is hilarious. Uh, I'm going to play Master Detective. Um, I- you don't- you just see the Master Detective, um, mode get ditched after a couple of games, and they just do Junior and Senior. I don't really know how much of a difference there can be between these two levels, but I'm gonna do Master Detective. I'm gonna try to beat all of the games as I play through on the hardest ones, because I've played them all so many times. You can see Silhouette of her blowing bubbles. It does kind of look like that with a magnifying glass. It took me forever to find the right, like, her interactive logo when I was trying to make the thumbnail for the stream the other night. It was so unnecessarily infuriating. Anyway. Um, yep. All right, so let's just get into it. And Nancy's going to give us a little rundown on what we're doing. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night. And Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. I absolutely love the fact that Nancy's poor dad gets a letter from Nancy and she's just like, Hey, dad, I'm going to randomly try to solve a murder case. Bye. And it's just like, that's just it. That's just, that's just what she does. And her dad's just like, okay, try not to die, I guess. Like, so funny. It's so, so funny. I love the letters that Nancy writes to her friends and family in some of these games. Anyway, let's see. This is a point and click adventure game, so you can look around and this is an early game. So they haven't really figured out to only let you look at what is actually important yet. So. We can look at a lot of stuff that doesn't matter. There's this clock that will not move at any point in the game. I'm pretty sure I talked about that back when I did my video on it back in the day. Uh, Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember, you can find the combination in the house. I love it. She doesn't give us the combination. She just tells us it's here somewhere. Go looking for it. You're supposed to be a detective. Uh, <laughs> and that's just that's just it. That's just the way that that goes. Uh, and we never see Aunt Eloise. We're staying with her and we never, ever meet her. Ooh, and here we have a phone card because it's 1999, if you remember. So that'll come in handy. The Hardy Boys did the same thing to their father. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to all the parents of teen detectives. They're really going through it. Here. Okay, so back here is the safe. We need to find the, the combination. And by the way, this combination is in Greek. I'm pretty sure this is Greek. Because Aunt Eloise is super extra. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. Uh, he's very disturbed today because people have been setting off fireworks and bottle rockets because it's a holiday weekend. There was a hundred dollar bill in the drawer. Hang on. 
Never noticed that before. Yep, there straight up just is a ton of cash, and that's gonna get even funnier in a second. Let me show you something. So over here, where is it? This, I need something which is locked. I'm pretty sure if you go over here, we should be able to find a key. Yep, like I said, Aunt Eloise, super, super extra. Okay, so if you take this key and you put it in here, Nancy takes one quarter. <laughs> That's all she takes. That's the only currency she's going to use in this entire game. And by the way, it's a regenerative quarter. Every time she spends it, it ends up back in my pocket. The Greek safe. Yeah. Only rich people have that kind of safe. Yeah, Aunt Alice is... She's a school... Like a public school librarian. But she's got this super swanky house. So like... Money is like a weird non-concept to the Drew family. It seems to be a running theme. Something to make this work. Like, Nancy's dad is a lawyer, and, you know, I get why they're well off, but, like, Eloise is doing very well for a school librarian. Good for her. School librarians and teachers should be the ones getting paid the big bucks anyway, so... I'm glad that that's a thing, apparently, in this, in this world. <laughs> regenerative money that could be worth more than a hundred dollars, right? True, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be a librarian too then, right? That's a genuine point in my life where I thought I wanted to be a librarian. I still think it would be kind of a sweet job, it's just so quiet and nice in libraries. Sophomore book sale, blah 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 blah. I don't think I actually need that. Here's a remote. Can I do anything with the remote? I don't think I can do anything with the remote yet. All I can do is turn the TV on, and apparently we don't get cable. Bad. Mm, okay, this is our this is our combination up here. Uh, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority. It just so happens that her combination is the name of a prominent sorority, so. I guess that's lucky for us. Can I look at this picture? No. Can I look at... This is gonna be interesting because we're gonna need to memorize this, or... Yeah, I think it's this. Let me get to it in a second and then I'll tell you about it. Let's see. Oh, we have pictures of Aunt Eloise. Sewing kit that does nothing. We have a book. You can look at all kinds of books in this game, and some of them have, like, hidden codes that you can solve. Um, they kind of take the fun out of the game to sit there and try to solve them, though, and they also give you major hella spoilers, so... I don't know, but, uh... That's a thing. It's a thing that you're able to do. Jump in here. Alright, what was it? It was like this, right? Yep. Yay, we even get the little we did it music. And in the safe, we have another key. That's the key to the library, which is locked down. Big letters in the book were green and spelled out. Mitch, copy that. So it's a clue, maybe not a good clue. Yeah, so they're clues. They're just... Apparently psychics exist in this universe because they're clues that give you clues to how the game's gonna end, and it's just... They don't do that after, like, the first or second game. They ditch it, but back in this... Back in 1999, her interactive thought they were really onto something with that. Alright, so I'm gonna sit here. This is a slider puzzle. This is what I was talking about. You've gotta make it look like... We've got to make it look like this right here, which I think is just a smaller version of that painting that was over on the wall, but... Let's see. I think I remember how to do sliders. You just have to do it, like, when it's 4 by 4 you got to do, like, section, 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 like, in, in quarters like that, so... I'm just gonna sit here and chill. I remember when I did the original game, um, when I when I covered this game in the video that I did 
um, like two years ago now. That was like the last video I made before I moved my setup into this room back when I was still sitting on my bedroom floor. And I remember just having to cut out so much time of me just struggling with this puzzle. And like, it's not even that hard of a puzzle. I was just really not feeling it, I guess. But, you know, what's, what goes up here? If I back out of it, of course it's going to reset itself. I know. I wish you could smash the box open, but Nancy's a little more sophisticated than that, so I guess not. Is that it? Is that... Hmm. Let's try to figure out what goes in this spot up here. This is going to be a very, you know... It's going to take a second. <laughs> yeah, playing through all of these games in a big uh, sequence is kind of a big deal uh, for me because I um, always wanted to, ever since I was a kid watching Michael Gray, I've always wanted to uh, be on YouTube and maybe even play the games through... Uh, and you're seeing that dream become a reality. The dreams really do come true, you guys. Can't even do the nine slider puzzle. <laughs> Escape rooms brown on the smashy smashy. Yeah, we're gonna do this a legit way, because we're real detectives, guys. Ah, no. What is the thing that goes right here? Is it this? Maybe it's this down here. No, it's not that. Okay, let me do... Figure out the rest of this, and then... Put that one into place. I know this is up here. Do, 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 do. That does not go there. But these two go next to each other. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, let me just... Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. Oh, and it didn't reset itself. That was nice of it. Yep, so that goes there. That goes there, I think. <laughs> I never went to detective school. Yeah, I grew up playing these games, so... Especially this one, I shouldn't have too much trouble with, but it's just gonna take a second. Once You have to just remember, like, where everything goes. And then it all kind of literally slides into place. That goes there. Okay, so like this square is done. So I'm gonna try to not touch it unless I need to move it out of the way to do this square. So let's do this square. These two pieces look like they're in the right place. I think that belongs down here on the bottom. And this one, or that one might not even belong there at all. It's one of these, I know it's flowers down at the bottom, like the white and pink flowers. So that goes there, and I think this one goes underneath. So let's try that. <laughs> the body they found isn't going to get any more dead? Fair. We can take our time. The worst has already befallen the school, so, you know, they're really just lucky Nancy's here in any capacity. Okay. See? We got this half done. So if I'm able to do this, I won't have to touch that ever again, and I can work on this. So let's try that. This goes here, but which two go up there? Also, doesn't the music in this game, doesn't it kind of make you feel sleepy? Like, I feel just very, like, calmed by this music. I think this goes here. All right. Oh, 
All right, that looks good. Sort of music an auntie has playing in the house 24-7. Yeah, it's, it's like, um... It feels like classical music that, like, your parents would have on. Like, outside of being an undertaker. Does Nancy go to school? No, so I talked about this when I was uh, reading one of the books. Nancy is a teen detective. That's always mentioned. She is a teenager. Um, however, she's always uh, old enough that she doesn't have to be in school and young enough that she's still a teenager. So, like, 18, 19? Like an older teenager. I did it! I solved the puzzle! Yeah, Nancy, she's got kind of a weird situation. I wouldn't be surprised if Nancy graduated from high school early and is just kind of chilling, but yeah, she's somewhere in that like older teenage range where like she doesn't have a job, but she also doesn't have school, so she can kind of just go wherever she wants to. Totally jealous. All right, so this is the password. Um, this is the login name, and then the password is a scramble of her name, Eloise Drew. So we just have to remember that. I'm going to save the game, because if this game crashed and I had to do that puzzle over again, I'd be very sad. Let me do that really quick. Nancy solving crimes for free. Yeah! Yeah, she's just, uh, just a volunteer, I guess. Got everything that I needed in here, right? I think. This. I looked at this, right? It's just that book with the weird picture of Florida. Yeah. I think there's, like, hidden... Oh, there's... It's, um, it's Morse code up and around here. I just don't have the patience for it. <laughs> You'd be here all day. She puts the knife back in the potty if you don't pay. <laughs> Damn. Uh, this is... I'm playing this game on the PC. I'm playing the PC... Uh, I actually own the entire series and PC version. I've kind of collected them throughout the years. But um, I think they did come out with versions of this of these games for different, like, operating systems. I remember there was a... They tried making a DVD adventure game of one of them, which was a horrible idea. They also... Um, when the Nintendo Wii first came out in, like, what, 2007? Um, the game that came out that year, they also put that out on the Wii, which was interesting. All pictures of Florida are weird. Florida's just kind of a weird place. <laughs> All right, so we've got a couple things we can do. Here's Aunt Eloise's house. Here's the pharmacy, which we don't know why we care about the pharmacy yet, um, but we do, I guess. Yeah, does anybody remember very, very briefly people thought it was a good idea to make DVD interactive games? It was a stupid idea, and they didn't catch on because they were never, ever fun. You could never, ever, like, control it well. Just like with the remote of a TV. It was terrible. Just to play Broken Sword. I've never played that. Okay, so literally, close for inventory. We cannot do anything. I don't know why it lets us come here right now. Anyway, and we see a palm tree or two. We can come over here to Maxine's Diner, which is going to be a lot more fun. Yeah, no pharmaceuticals. Legal or otherwise. Alright, so there's several things. This is a... This is a... Uh, hidden... You read all the red letters. I think it says soup... Yeah, soup ladle. Bolt cutters. I'll show you why that's important in a second. Over here. Ooh, let's use our regenerative quarter. We can... Well, Nancy can play a game. We just get to hear the sound of her playing pinball.
And that's it. And we get the quarterback. And then we can also uh, use the jukebox. Uh, let's play... How can I pick what I want to play? Here we go. Also, this company name is Nancy Drew Backwards. That's quite a quite a coincidence. Yeah, wordy can can. <laughs> Maxine's diner is definitely a front for something. Yeah, it's a very very strange little place, isn't it? It's very. Um... You haven't even met the guy who works here yet. Let me just try to show you the rest of this stuff. Isn't there like a hidden something? Something yet yeah, here. I love the 50s themed diner in a game that came out in the late 90s, which is based on a book from the mid 80s, or I guess later 80s. So, like, we've got just a whole mismatch of periods going on. Um, let's see, I see A O. I don't actually know how to read this one. I know that there's- I know that this is an actual thing. What? M Grilled breast of duck with raspberry vinegar sauce. Does this look like the type of place where you go when you want duck braised in raspberry vinaigrette sauce? I'm not saying it's a bad place. I'd have fun going to a place like this, but this is not the type of, like, food that I expect them to be selling. Oh, it says danger. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Yeah, see, this is why I love doing these things with a lie on live. Um, I thought it would be fun if everybody uh, gets to chip in. Danger. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah, it says danger in the red letters. All right. Let's I'm ignoring Daryl for a second for as long as I can because he bothers me. <laughs> Daryl's a very interesting character, and by interesting, I mean terrible. All he does is hit on Nancy. Also, I love how we have these 3D graphics, but in this first game, we've got these 2D characters. You look like you're going to make an excellent addition to Paseo Del Mar High School student body. I'm Daryl Gray, Renaissance man, short order cook, student council president, and professional escort to pretty new students. Ugh. Yeah, the weird shading is very fun. This, like, graphic style that they use for the characters specifically reminds me of, like, I have this very vivid memory of, like, being a kid, going to the doctor, and in the pediatrician's office, there are these, like, cartoony, like, say no to drugs campaigns, and that's, like, what the animation style reminds me of. It's a really random thing. And do you really think so? <laughs> Definitely. You're amazing. We'll be grilling ducks. You've got a mysterious quality I find very intriguing. Yeah, the remake definitely makes all of the characters look like 30-year-old actors playing teenagers. That is I'm true. Enjoy being your contact. I'm here to help. If the police trust Looks me, like stock images from your English teacher. Yeah. Daryl, you should know I'm involved with someone. I've been seeing him for a while. His name is Ned. That's yeah, cool. Piss off, Daryl. I, like I don't really approve of Ned either, but I hate that he hate, hits on Nancy all the time. He looks like Gordon Ramsay in the... He really does. Now you're just making me excited to get to the remake. What, are you not worried about being murdered? You're only worried about me being murdered? Who was murdered? A student named Jake Rogers. When I found him, it looked like someone had pushed him face first down a flight of stairs. It was nasty. Oof. Can't be Gordon, he's not swearing. He's like a Gordon Ramsay, like, if Gordon Ramsay was a character on Nick Jr. Tell me about Jake. He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by he the diner a few face. times. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective. 
but I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay? I pointed this out in the video I made about this game two years ago. Every single time he says this, he says, I've got a hot grill waiting for me, but it sounds like he says, I gotta go. I got a hot girl waiting for me. And it's funny every single time. Every time. Every time it's funny. Okay. Anyway, somebody said, why is there only a ladies room? I've never noticed that. You're right. There is only... No, it says ladies and gentlemen. So like, maybe it's a gender neutral bathroom. I don't know. But you're right. It does look like there is only uh, bathrooms provided for one specific gender, which is strange. Yeah, just like a gender neutral bathroom. She proceeds to aggressively wipe hands. Yeah, everybody's like, I gotta go. And then they stand exactly where they are. And Nancy has to leave because that's how these games work. Also, do you like the pictures of food over here that they didn't even bother to try to make look real? Alright, so now I'm gonna show you... Oh, got a change in music. Okay, so here's another secret code. I think it's like a 1 equals A, 2 equals B sort of cipher. Uh, Maxine's birthday is scheduled, so I guess Maxine really is a real person. Take one photorealistic cake, please. Yeah. To go with the braised duck, obviously. Um. I think you guys are getting nostalgia the same way that I'm getting nostalgia. Because I love these games. I always have. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is easily one of my favorite parts of the game, and it's also the dumbest part of the game. So, right here, by the way, ooh, we have a knife that does nothing. We're never gonna need that knife or even be able to pick it up. Over here, first of all, can I draw your attention to the fact that this pipe is being held... This is a gas pipe. It's being held closed with bolt cutters. This cannot be up to code. I just want to point that out right now. This is ridiculous. But also, we need the bolt cutters, so we're gonna steal the bolt cutters. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna yoink those. And then in a move that could possibly be the only thing less, I mean, more dangerous, less advisable than bolt cutters to hold the gas line together, we're gonna replace it with a soup ladle. Tell me how that makes sense. How does that make sense? It's <laughs> very much not safe for work. <laughs> yeah, in a totally different way than people are usually used to talking about. There's no way that this is okay. What is this? Daryl's gonna die in a gas leak. This is terrible. Like, <laughs> this is horrible. But that's how you do it. And now we just have some bolt cutters. And we don't even know why we need it. Nancy just knows in her sixth spidey sense that she's gonna need those bolt cutters and so they're ours now they don't even have duct tape duct tape would literally be better duct tape would literally be better when i made my video i talked about this at nauseam i cannot believe oh i can't even zoom back in on it because the game's like nope you did it don't need it anymore all right well go back here save again Just bolt cutters and ladles. Yep, yeah, you know, just... They just get by with what they have, I guess. Which, like... You do what you can. But good lord. Alright, so when I go outside, I'm now gonna go to the school, which is where most of the game takes place. Uh, but if anybody has played the game before, they remember, we need to switch discs. So, I'm going to switch. I actually have uh, these games all converted onto ISOs. Uh, just to get, save me some time. Uh, but I'm going to switch modes in a second. <laughs> that diner kind of looks like Animal Crossing furniture. Yeah, it actually reminds me of if anybody played Webkins. I played Webkins when I was a kid. 
And I remember having a very functioning diner at one point in my Webkin's house that I was very, very proud of. Whoop! Inception. Sorry about that. Oh, I just opened DaVinci, by the way. No, we're not editing the newest video right now. Hang on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Sorry, guys. Oh, close this. You're going to ruin my stream. Everybody's welcome to take some guesses as to what the next video is about. New video sneak peek. I know I've, I've jokingly said that I was going to do those types of streams where like I finish editing the video on stream, but no one would want to see that. <laughs> Insert CD2. Yeah, thank God they figured out how to not have to do that after the first game, but the first game is a pain in the ass. Yeah. All right, so here in the school, which was founded in 1967, home of the manatees, represent manatees. Um, love all the pictures of real people that they use. These are probably just like pictures that were provided by like developers. Uh, eventually, uh, the games kind of gain a fan base and they start doing these things where you can kind of uh, send in your pictures to try to, you know, um, potentially be featured in there. And I remember Argelfump, Michael Gray, who was like known as the Nancy Drew dude to this very day, he got his picture in the remake of this game. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, but you're not that late. Uh, we're just chilling out and obviously like, you know, VOD's going to be available later, but we're just, we're just solving a, solving a crime. Catching a murderer. <laughs> Nothing super, super intense. Body's still warm. Yeah, we've barely even gotten to the crime scene. Technically, Nancy has not seen the crime scene yet, so it's all good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I love how they had no idea when they were just like, hey, what do we make Florida look like? Just all the palm trees. Just all palm trees. No other kind of tree. Florida has one kind of tree, and it's a palm tree. To be fair, they do have quite a lot of palm trees. Not inaccurate. Oh, you rewatched the Twilight Zone videos last night? That's so cool. I love that. I need to do more. I As soon as I cover an episode of the Twilight Zone, I just want to turn around and cover another episode. Like, I love the Twilight Zone. I don't know why it took me so long to start talking about it on the channel. All right. I need to find all of these message boards because this game has this bug where if you don't look at every single message board in this game to find every single little hidden um, code, this isn't even code, they've just put the spaces in the wrong place, um, the game will not let you progress. It'll think that you're trying to cheat. You live <laughs> surrounded by palm trees. Yeah, I mean, both my parents are from Florida and I have plenty of family there. It, there is quite a lot of palm trees. I just, it is a very funny way that they designed it. So it's just all palm trees all the time. Uh, find the morning edition, discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time. All right. So we've got to keep our eyes out for a newspaper. Everybody keep their eyes out for a newspaper. Do you have a favorite out of the, do you have a favorite episode of the Twilight Zone? I have so many favorite episodes. I've barely even scratched the surface of all the episodes. I would be happy to talk about every single one, honestly. There's just so many great episodes. I was stuck in the Twilight Zone. Ooh. Yep, maybe. <laughs> It, life tends to feel like the Twilight Zone these days, doesn't it? Truth is kind of stranger than fiction. All right. We've got a combination lock. You see this uh, feature pretty heavily in the first four or five games. I think it was just a really simple thing for the game developers to add in before they were really able to use some more complicated assets. So uh, combination locks are a big thing in the early Nancy Drew games. Love the codes being like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, it's just the silliest codes. I love it so much. 
four numbers only. Yep, pretty much 10,000 combinations. <laughs> the real murder mystery was the friends we made along the way. Yeah, oh, that reminds me. You can call Nancy's friends in this game, and they hadn't uh, hired on other actors to play. Like, the, the voices of Nancy Drew's friends change frequently, uh, but they hadn't hired any of the people who would go on to play the more prominent versions of their voices, so it's just the same actress who voices Nancy Drew uh, trying in vain to sound like three different people. It's very funny. Friends we murdered along the way. Don't murder friends. Don't murder anybody. Let's just blanket statement. Don't murder people. Especially your friends. All right, where's the other code? There's a code here. Here we go. Oh, it's upside down. In the face of danger. I'm doing one of these. I actually can't see. Someone flip their phone upside down and tell me what it says. Hey. Welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Glad to have all of you here. Time Enough at Last has always stuck with me. Yes, Time Enough at Last is such a good episode. Talk about episodes of the Twilight Zone. Um, I can't read this up and down. Could be upside down. Could be a helpful pair. Amongst a killer... Against a killer, you'll... Something. You'll... If you'll dare. Uh, something... Uh, an unlikely couple will make a helpful pair. In the face of danger, against a killer, if you dare, a very unlikely couple could be a helpful pair. Thank you, chat. See, every minute that goes by, I'm just reminded that it was a good idea to play through these games once uh, for the live. Because uh, now we're a team. Fun fact, apparently, uh, this was supposed to lead to a, a bigger area of the gym, I think. And uh, they ran out of time developing the game, and so they just omitted that part. This is just closed. So that's why there's just a big random door there that you can't go through. Keep refreshing my stream on my phone over here because I can't actually see. I keep getting uh, lagged, but I keep lagging behind. Let's see. Here's this. Here's this. No, I don't want to back away. I want to look at it. Oh my god. Uh We've got three more puzzles. Let's see. Um nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Let the books of the library be your answer guide. Okay, I read that one. I read that one. Looks like a Roku remote. Yeah, it looks yeah. yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. It does look, um, similar. I Don't you love how Nancy just has, like, a magical, like, inventory? I don't know what kind of bag she's carrying around where she's got bolt cutters, a remote control, and a phone card from 1999. Third one is backwards. Yeah, so this is, oh, jeez. Like, I thought the hardest thing was going to be when I was struggling to read the actual book. When I was struggling to read that on stream. Oh, it's backwards and upside down. Okay, that helps. I see what it took. I can see that it says something, something, what it took. This one is a symbol of kanji worn with great pride. Reflects a big secret that someone must hide. Okay, I read that one fine. Just unpin them and repin them upside down. You're right. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're secret codes. He did, he did what it took. He did what it took. 
to make his something. Some of these are just hard. I'm just going to give up on that last one. We don't need to know it. The game thinks we are super smart and that we solve everything that we look at. Even if you just look at it for a second, the game's going to be like, all right. All right, here's an eye test. You just have to read it from the bottom. Uh, if you can read this, then make no mistake. Uh... Something, something grade. Yeah, I like how we're all staring at it and we're all struggling. Didn't study for the eye test. I just said this when I fil I filmed a video last night. Um, spoiler alert, it's on Adventures in Wonderland. Um, and I was, it's spo a spoiler alert again, the episode where the uh, Red Queen loses her glasses. So I was talking about how I have so much anxiety surrounding uh, taking the eye test when I have to, like, read the chart with my bad eye. So, yeah. Heads up, that's the next video for anybody who's interested. Uh, he did what it took to make the grade, even if it meant cheating to keep up his charade. All right! Yay! Thank you for solving that. Um, what does this one say? If you can read this, then make no mistake... A genuine... First class detective you'll make. Aw. It's like an inspirational puzzle. Thanks, puzzle makers. Who do we think is leaving the puzzles for, for Nancy? Honestly saying my eyesight is so bad. Yeah, I mean my bad eye is a lot better than it used to be back in the day, but it's still like the worst. This my right eye is the one that's the weakest, so like I'm always like struggling. All right, 555 five, five, Judo. I think we can call them later. Get a jump on education. That's just a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspirational school poster. It's not important to us. An unappreciated principal is leaving the messages. Just a clairvoyant principal is just, like, leaving the messages to try to help Nancy. Here's another person. Um, again, back when I did my video, I obviously haven't seen that video in quite a long time, but I remember uh, being confused as to why his jersey number is zero. Maybe I'm dumb, and I just don't know anything about the sports ball, but it feels like zero zero is just a funny number to have. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Hulk Sanchez. You don't know sports either? Yeah, this is the if you're if you're looking for somebody who can tell you about any kind of sport, this is I'm I'm not your creator, so. Uh how did you know I was new here? Hey, you're talking to the man, the number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls at Paseo Del Mar High. Are you kidding? This is Hulk. He's the quarterback. <laughs> He's been held back. He's over 50 years of age. Is this the Nancy Drew game that actually featured a rap? Yes, yes, yes. I played the rap before. I can play it again when I have to switch the things. Um, I uh, Not that anybody wants to be subjected to it, but yes, this is where... This is the game where it was, it wasn't actually played anywhere in this game. It was um, hidden amongst the files, the game files. All right, I won't play it again. I'm sorry. Nobody freak out. Nobody leave. But yes, this is the one. Uh, and then when they remaster it several years later, you can hear it playing in the background. How do you That's know about all his the other girls at school. personal Isn't business. I'm tall, dark, handsome. Not to mention a superstar athlete. Everybody Ugh. knows Hulk Sanchez and the Hulk knows everybody. Rap song is an interlude theme. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Did you know the guy who was killed? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang I'm so glad to have other Sorry, people who know the games now. in the go in the chat. Later. It's so disheartening to me when I try to tell people, um, like my friends about these games and they're like, "What is it? That was a thing? I never had that." How's it going? Oh, I thought you had somewhere to be. <laughs> what can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Yeah, I did happen to hear that. How could I get into Jake's locker? I could tear the door off with my teeth, but it might be easier to just ask Hal Tanaka. His locker was right next to Jake's. He has second murder victim energy. Oh, dear. So, don't you love the bad questions that they give Nancy in this game? She's supposed to be undercover, just like a normal student, and she shows up and she's like, Hello, fellow students. I am here, and I would like to know how to break into a dead man's locker. Nothing to see here. Bye. Bye, Nancy. I love how I can hear people playing what sounds like basketball. But there's no, you will not see anybody. It just sounds like phantom students off in the distance. Hello, fellow kids. Yes. How do I solve the murder? Yeah, exactly. Players can request wearing zero. Make them stand out for the others. Isn't normally a number assigned to a player. Okay, interesting. Oh, it was half right. It, it is strange, but it's not unheard of. It's... It's possible. Okay, did I look at this? We already looked at this. All right. Ooh, prom. What's their prom theme? Uh, I can't read it. I want to know what the prom theme is. I didn't go to prom. All right, here's some art. It's all very pretty. Here's the library. I'm not going to go in there yet. You kids still go to disco clubs, right? Yeah, I'm sure that hasn't fallen out of fashion at all. Ghosts. Yeah, there are no ghosts in this version uh, that we know of. In this game, those are for later games. Oh, it's upside down. Um, When things go astray tonight at... Vandalay. It will not help to run. So you must grab the gun. That's intense. I remember this game, but if the first time you read this, you're just like, huh? What? What did you just say to me? What's gonna happen? God, all right, what's this one? There's more than one way to remove a chain so thick. Aside from the combination, bells, bolt cutters will do the trick. Yay. These cool staff just don't read the noses. Oh, God. Yeah, it's just like, it gets very intense. It's like, I'm just here trying to solve a... I mean, it's a, it's a murder, so it's already intense, but like, oof. Oof. All right, hang on. There's more stuff. <laughs> a thoughtful group, the psychology club. Check out this. Whoops. Why would you give me all of this if this whole portion is going to be not clickable and will just dr dump me out? I don't understand. Uh, here's another thing. Yeah, I don't think the culprit is leaving these around. I don't think they ever explain who's leaving them. There's just, like, apparently a psychic student somewhere that's just like, ooh, I hope Nancy... When Nancy comes here, she's gonna need this, like... I don't know, somebody knows exactly what's gonna happen all the time. And I love that for them, but I have questions. 
they ditch uh, this little mechanism in later games. I can't imagine why. What's this? This is a puzzle. This is... We're gonna need a combination in Braille. Just say no. <laughs> right left over from the Reagan administration itself. Uh... Mm. Whoops, where'd my chat go? There's my chat. Hi, chat. Mm, thought it was explained. It. I think it gets explained in the newer version, but not in the OG. But the explanation is weird when they do explain it in the newer version. Nothing specific. Just say no. I know it's a kid's game, so they can't tell me what I'm supposed to be saying no to. Just say no to everything. What if it's a cabin in the woods situation mystery themed? Possible. Anything's possible. Let's see. Mm, art club. Do people surf in Florida? Florida wasn't really like the best place to surf. I know they're obviously on the ocean, but still. Uh, what else? Dr. Deception, poetic drama written by the seniors. This shows the lies of a doctor to be. Why do I feel like that's very on the nose? Florida waters aren't that great. Nancy meets Scooby-Doo when I would love that. I would love for Nancy and Velma to team up. They wouldn't need the help of anybody else. Forgot surfing was, like, a real activity. I think it's, like, really cool. If I lived somewhere where surfing was a thing, I'd totally be surfing. But, like, I didn't know people surfed a whole lot in Florida. Maybe that's just a thing that my brain made up. Fake fact. I see... To decode his name, just find a phone. Oh, I know where this is from. All right, so we're it's a clue to tell us to go and use a phone to decode um, Jake's locker, the guy who died. He's pretty polluted. Yeah, that's sad. I hate hearing about that. I've been to a beach in years. I mean, I'm here in Atlanta, so we're completely landlocked, so we, we're not big into the... I mean, we have lakes, but we don't really do the whole water activities. Hey, a person! A new face. Hi, my name's Hal. You sure arrived on Hi. a day with a lot of activity. All of these questions are... Dumb questions. These are redundant questions. Activity? A murder was committed here last night. Everyone is very stressed out. Yeah, I think that is um well actually the Emperor's New Groove wasn't out yet, but it is it is very um reminiscent of the Emperor's New Groove. Uh a murder? A murder? Yes, a murder was committed here last night. It's frightening. Weird. Wow. Wouldn't know anything about Looks that. Weird. Jake Rogers, a student here at Paseo Del Mar High. It's really intense. Yikes. Did you know him? Not really. Only by reputation. What reputation? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. I clicked on you again. Are you going to keep Hi, talking? Nancy. Yep. Just forgot. You're just like, eh. Local seaside beach is mostly <laughs> shotgun conscious as gone to be the Ooh. 
Ooh. That sounds... sad. I hate when people litter. <laughs> yeah, you think they would at least send everybody home. They literally found a dead body in the school. And then they're just like, eh, everybody does have those midterms. Gotta keep those grades up. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Uh oh, what happened to Hulk? Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. He got Hulk smashed. His chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his Sorry. injury. <laughs> What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Daryl found Jake's body this morning. He's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his father? Yes. Daryl's father is former U.S. Senator. Oh. Eugene Gray. I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Interesting. Being dead is an excuse. Feels like a very real thing. Yeah. Yeah, when they freeze after talking, it's a little disconcerting. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm just gonna I'm keep sorry, asking. Nancy. I can't help you with that. I'm just gonna keep doubling down. Hulk said your locker was right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me... He wish I had a phone handy. Would that help? That does help. Talk I'll show you, you why it helps. Farewell, Nancy. Farewell, Hal. Hal is really the only person who's nice to Nancy. A nice too, but sometimes. She's only sometimes nice. You know those sometimes nice people? Hey. Students of the month. A phone, you say? Yeah, there's a phone over here. Let me just keep... Let me get to it in a second. Make sure I don't miss. Oh, God. Okay, so I don't even know if you guys can see this on the screen. Um, but down here, this just says side of school, side of school, side of school, side of school, over and over and over and over and over again. So them look like teachers yeah yeah i think i think they're just people who worked on the game but it's and it's like an in joke but it is kind of funny like they all look good but not all of them look like high school children no shade All right, five, five, five Tonys. Nancy just gets a pizza delivered to school. Students of the month were all named after the month that they were in. Yeah, these are just like, it's just like the students. It's just like which month they were student of the year. Student of the month, I mean, student of the, <laughs> student of the year every single month. Spinny, we can't, I don't think we can, ooh, can I use my quarter? Damn. See? <laughs> Popsy and cool. <laughs> and this one's just called Grape. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The way the months are out of order. Were they out of order? Now I'm really invested in this. Hang on. November, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. No, they're in order. It's just a school year. It's just, it starts with the first month of school. Although, it's very sad that they have to do school in June. <laughs> yeah, I gotta love, my, my favorite, my favorite type of Coke is definitely just great. Or soda. We call we call everything Coke here. 
And I get a pop and a cool. So here's a phone. Use our phone card. Here, let me use it for what I'm actually supposed to use it for and then show you guys some other stuff that's just funny. I know, I get everybody a drink, but I'm not allowed to use my uh, magic quarter. Oh, is there cat fur in my drink? Ugh. Oh, you're doing school in June this year because of the pandemic. Hi, Paul. Welcome. No diet popsy. No, just regular popsy. Something that they would have come up with on, like, an episode of iCarly. All right, so to solve a puzzle, you call 555, and then you call... So Jake's name is J-A-K-E-5253. -E Oh, yes, of course. The whole entire oh, mug of Jake's definitely name. gin and not at all uh, seltzer water. No, just finals, though. Well, that's something. Did you hear that? It was like, hi, this is Jake's locker. He had... Hang on, I've got to play it again. He had a an answering machine for his locker. Doing it again because I talked over it. Hi, this is Jake's locker. <laughs> yeah, Jake was very extra, but anyway, this is how we're supposed to know. Whoops, 5253 is the combination to his locker. So I can put that in when I get back there. All right. 555. Five, five. What was that other thing? Judo. I don't know how important it is to do this stuff, but you know answering machine in the locker. That's all I can really assume. For more information on our programs, please see our advertisements in the Paseo Times and Judo Today magazine. Yeah, they really, um, the remastered version really uh, does a good job of keeping the things that are nice about the game, but making it, uh, good. <laughs> 555 Tony is the pizza place. It did kind of sound like Jeff Goldblum. Now I'm never gonna unhear it. I'm never gonna unhear that that sounded like Jeff Goldblum. Hey, this is Tony's pizza. Leave your message. <laughs> God dang it. Okay. Um, what else? I think you can f call this number. Four or nine. I think it's four. Yeah, Tony's a little, ju just a little bit stereotypical. I don't know if you noticed this. The, the red light is being blinking, but mm, I, I suppose I should read the menu. I, I, I can't figure out. Mm, I, I, I'm quite, I, it's blinking, but I, I, oh, I don't know. Eloise is such a boomer, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes, that is on Eloise. You're gonna hear that voice be reused for a different character later on. What, y'all never had an answering machine in your lockers? This is the last guy, the nerd from The Simpsons. I don't, maybe. Uh, who was I calling? Let me call Bess. Remember how I said that all of these, all of Nancy's friends are voiced by the same person who voices Nancy in this game. This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? This is such a puzzling situation. And then she hangs up. <laughs> Reminds me, yeah, so there's a character that becomes reoccurring in the series called Prudence Rutherford. Um, she's in Phantom of Venice and a few others, and, uh, they use, I believe, that same, the same voice actor does the same voice, and they just use it for Prudence Rutherford, because we never hear from Aunt Eloise ever again. All right. Great. Played this game so many times, and their fr her friend's numbers don't change, so I just, like, got them memorized by heart. 
Main residence. George, this is Nancy. Can you give me some advice? There must be some place to go where you can find out lots of information. No shade to Lonnie Manello, the voice actor, because I'm not an authority on voice acting, but I love how all the characters sound exactly the same. Yeah, best I need help. Oh, wow, that sucks for you, Nancy. Just hangs up. Also, fun facts, did anybody play the Professor Layton games growing up? Uh, because the voice actor who voices Nancy in all these games also voices Luke from Professor Layton games. Remember the kid assistant that was like, Professor so That's, 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 that's the same voice actor. Hello? Hi, Ned. I'm in a jam. Do you think you can help me out? To open the victim's locker, I'd think of how letters and numbers could be related. To open the- what? So I told Ned nothing about the case, he knows about the locker, and he's like, numbers and letters could be related, and then he hangs up. It's like, thanks, man. So glad I'm dating you. <laughs> Yeah, no, Lonnie is a, actually a, a, a pretty good voice actor. She just, it's just funny that they basically just had her do the same voice three different times. Ned is not my favorite uh, for Nancy. Um, I much prefer the crossover books with the Hardy Boys where she's got a thing going on with Frank Hardy. And hey, there's a person. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually Paseo Del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Today, it's totally out of control. And Ned to the slammer. I don't think any Ned did anything wrong. He's just, I don't know. He and Nancy don't really have that much in common. She just kind of calls him and she's like, hey, I'm doing a cool thing. And he's like, cool, I'm not. Nothing ever happens here. A new student is big news. Paper in the magazine rack. I don't think so. Let me sh I'll show you that after. I can't believe you even noticed me with all the excitement on campus today. We girls have to stick together. There Where? Are wolves walking around campus. Me on the cover of the remake. I thought it was Nancy. I was so confused when it wasn't. Yeah, so it's a running theme, like a running joke in this game for anybody who doesn't know. We will never see what Nancy looks like. We find out a little bit about what she looks like based on things that people occasionally say, but we never get to see her because we are her. She's like a vampire. She never has a reflection in the mirror. Is this the original art? Yes, this is the original, original game. Like the first version of the game. Not the remake, but like the original, the OG. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the chat. Um, yeah, considering the circumstances, everybody's very, like, chipper. They're just like, eh. Is it enchantment under the star's prom? Interesting. Strawberry blonde hair. Yeah, so Nancy's a redhead in these games. We f find out, but we never actually get to see her. You wouldn't want to waste your time with any of the guys at this school. They're pretty lame. <laughs> Are all the guys lame? There are a few who are cool. Jake Rogers was not one of them. Oof. Way to talk about the dead. Harsh. I take it Jake wasn't very popular. I avoided him whenever I could. What made him such a sleaze? Jake was rude, self-centered, dishonest, and greedy. Anybody use the word sleaze later. in modern conversation anymore? Early on in these games, they don't know how to make Nancy sound like an actual teenager. She sounds like she's... Like, her vocabulary makes her sound like she's about a hundred years old. The NPC is a teacher. No, every character that you meet in this game are all students at What's the up, school. Nancy? Oh, we can still talk to her about a lot of stuff. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. She looks like the villain from Incredibles 2. Gosh, spoilers for a movie that came out... What, six years ago? Three years ago? It came out already. I'm kidding. Never use sleaze. Yeah, it's a you random word. Not very well. 
He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get a scholarship for college. Lately, he's looking really burnt out. I think the pressure is getting to him. What pressure? Hal is maxing out on course hours this year. He needs to prove himself if he's going to get a scholarship. If he doesn't get a scholarship, he'll have to go back to Japan. Yeah, no, no, no. She's a she's a student. She's not a teacher. That would be creepy. She she was just obsessed with like all the the lives of these students. Yeah, she's a student. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish all the characters better. look too old to be he's students, the but they are all students. Ever dating. Oh? He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Porsche 911. I know, I'm always spoiling uh, things that have been out for like a thousand years. Alright, so the big news here is that she's got a crush on Daryl. I don't know why, but she does. This is a thing. She likes Daryl. Drives a Porsche and works at a diner? Hal gives up third murder victim energy? No, I like Hal. Hal is my favorite character because he's the only one who's actually nice to Nancy. A s close second being Connie because she's sometimes nice to Nancy. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers locker? Well, it's a cool job at a diner. Combination of that jerk's locker. Why are you asking so many questions? Like in the movies, actors in their mid thirties playing fourteen year old. Yeah. Case, are you? I gotta go now. Later. Yeah. When I did extra work, I was always that person who was like twenty something being cast to play a high schooler. They even tried to make me a middle schooler one time, and I was like, guys, I'm not. This isn't gonna work. I know I'm a tiny person, but I'm definitely not a middle schooler. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna... I'm trying to plug in my phone because... Whoops. I'm trying to reach around and get to my charger so that my phone does not die because if my phone dies, all of a sudden, can't see the chat anymore. And that would be very, very sad. I need a second monitor that I haven't gotten around to getting yet. Casting in the pre-90s was even worse. Yeah, it, it's because you know, teenagers can't work the same amount of hours because they're literally children. So movie sets and TV sets always like to use adults whenever they possibly can because they can make us work for 16 hours and say, learn to live with it. Which I'd rather adults who can at least choose where we work to get the crappy jobs and not literal children, but, you know, that's why they do it. Guys and Dolls Dance. Oh, no, it's a performance of Guys and Dolls. I thought it was a theme dance. That would have been fun. The Battle of the Bands. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm sure everybody knows. It's just, it is very funny when you see, like, Riverdale, and, like, it's like, that person's 30 years old, and he's a sophomore, question mark? Absolutely no shade, but some people just really do not pass for high school like, like, um, production companies think they do. Trying to make it so that I can still see. Yeah, so they canceled Riverdale just like two days ago, and I... Not that I watch it or anything, but I saw that it got canceled and I was like, oh my god, I, how did it take this long? X-Files had one guy almost 40 playing 15. Visibly thick stubble. Yeah, it's like, uh, what's his name who played uh, the brother Jackson on Hannah Montana? He was like 35 playing a 16-year-old. Yeah, Riverdale just got canceled uh, according to a pop-up that my phone thought I would be interested in. Like, yesterday. And I was like... She's on to us, run. Yeah, Connie Connie picks up really quick that something's up with Nancy. Uh, my favorite scene from Riverdale, by the way, I don't, like, watch Riverdale, but I think it's really, really hilarious. Um, and I love the scene where Archie's, like... I don't know, he's saying something, he's trying to give, like, an emotional speech, and uh, this guy says, with no irony in his voice... I had to quit school to sell drugs to take care of my sick grandmother. And Archie says, it cuts to Archie in this close-up, and with all the sincerity in the world, he says, then you missed out on the magic of high school football. And that's the scene. I love that scene so much. I will die for that scene. 
you want to try acting, but you're really bad at memorizing lines. Yeah, I have. I know some people who really struggle with memorization. Um, and depending on what it is, I also struggle with memorization. But you get used to it. If it's something you want to do, I highly encourage you to do it. You you tend you tend to get better when you're like, um, you know, because like you're you're putting a character together, so it, it stops becoming words at some point, and it's like something that your character would say because it's what they would say. And then it's easier to remember. The girl who played Casey on Life with Derek was 19 when the show started. It was like 23 when the show ended. Yeah. Same thing with Sarah Highland on Modern Family. I think she was about that age. The highs and lows of high school football. Yeah, it was like, yeah, 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 it was the most, like, Riverdale scene in the world. I loved it so much. <laughs> you thought the manatees was a ghost? Where? Wait. I missed the manatee. Yeah, the manatee, uh, is their mascot. It pops up everywhere. All right, so here's Jake's locker. What did, what did I say? Five, it's his name spelled on an old keyboard, keypad. Five, two, five, three, right? Five, two, five, three. Let me save right here. Just in case this game is very old and it, it crashes, I don't want to lose my progress. Um... To say someone I know tried acting for the first time. I mean, people get into acting at all different ages. I mean, I know people who, you know, start getting into extra work and then end up working in the industry like way later. Like, it's also really cute. There are these, um, there's a, there's several, um, people I know who are like, uh, retired couples who just basically do extra work just to like, just because they think it's fun and it's something they can do together in their retirement. And like, it's so there, I know several couples like that and they are all so cute and so nice and I love running into them on set. But yeah, if you are interested in acting or working in the industry at all, I encourage you to do it at any age. Like it's never, it's never too late to do what you want to do. I never like all, I didn't start even working in the industry at all until I was uh, in my twenties. I never did any acting in school. Uh, never did any community theater or anything. Just kind of got into it when it was the right time for me, I guess. Couple goals. Agreed. I 100% want to be uh, the elderly couple one day uh, that's a power couple in the extra scene. What am I looking at? Okay, I'm reading a magazine. Uh, oh, I remember this. There was a mysterious... Um, competitor who showed up at the big judo competition, masked, and won. And no one knows who they are. It's a big secret. Morgan Freeman got his big break when he was older, so start whenever you can. Agreed. Um, uh, oh, uh, James Hong. I just talked about him in a recent video. He finally, finally got a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 93. It took him 70 years to get recognition. Like, you know can happen at any age. Where's the locker? Yeah, there's no answering machine. I'm very disappointed. I don't see it. I don't see uh, an answering machine. That's disappointing. Okay, so we know... Okay, somebody showed up mysteriously and won the judo competition. Nobody knows who they are. Yeah, James Hong has been around forever. I'm just saying he finally got his star on the on the Walk of Fame. Um, so he finally got that recognition after 70 years of being in the industry. But yeah, he's obviously Hollywood royalty. Love James Hong. English essays through the ages. Okay, this is... Just an English essay book. Oh, it's a book of English essays. Treatise on etiquette. Ooh, and a VHS tape. Oh, nope, just the case for a VHS tape. There's no VHS. 
pocket knife. Sweet. Yes, all the best, all my love and good vibes to James Hong. He is truly a, like a legend. Love that man. I was watching an interview that he recently did on, I think, Jimmy Kimmel, and oh my god, he just seems like the sweetest human being. I was just smiling the entire time I watched it. I love when talented people are also super sweet. Yes, we found the newspaper, remember? We were told to look for it by the magical, uh, psychic whoever who's leaving us notes. Okay, so there was a break-in at the local pharmacy. What did they take? They took... They knew exactly what they were looking for. Um... Uh, they took some specific drug, just like one specific kind of drug. So, yep. And there's a, oh, oh well, I closed it, but you couldn't interact with it, but it was just like an, um, an old video camera, 90s video camera. So that's what we found. Uh, we now know about the judo thing, the break-in thing, and the, what, English essay thing? That's not important to us yet. And we have this pocket knife. Um, okay, so what should I do? Should I talk to more people or should I go to the library? <laughs> can I have the newspaper when you're done with it? It can line Mr. Rabbit's little tray. <laughs> or my rabbit's little tray. Yeah, I, I know. It's just, it's just like, so funny. We got the library. We've talked to lots of people and we can talk to them later. Show you guys something new. Oh, you want me to pick? Okay, I'm picking the, I'm picking the library because nobody's seen it yet. <laughs> Look, you guys can share the paper. One of you can take the comic section. One of you can take the, the business section. One of you can take food and travel. There's there's lots of, of sections to the paper. Yeah, yeah. So this is just like a point and click adventure game. Um, I'm this is the first game of the Nancy Drew series, and there's like over 30 of them, and I'm uh, this is my first stream. As I go through, I'm going to stream all of the games in order. So this is game number one. And yeah, it's a point and click adventure game. We're just, there's been a murder. We're trying to find clues so that we can solve puzzles so that we can catch a murderer, basically. Business section for the rabbit's business. That sounds great. Got dibs on sports. I'm glad we can work this out amongst ourselves. All right, so we use the key that we took from Aunt Eloise's house, and now we get the intense music again. And this library is chock full of stuff to read and look at. All right, SAT prep, sabotage, should cause concern, but with the gloves, you will not burn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ominous, but helpful, I think. I know, the music is just such a drastic difference from the music we heard two seconds ago. Up the library rivals Page Master's library. That was such a fun video to make. I really liked making the Page Master video. One of those movies that I have just like the vaguest memories of. Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is Kanji the Crane. Okay, so this is a clue that leads us to believe that Connie is involved. You know, the secret, uh, the person who showed up and won the judo contest? I think it's trying to tell us that it's her. I think that's what that clue is. Spoiler alert. What's this? Here's Morse code. Uh, we need this to solve a couple of puzzles. Really CG and floppy disk. Yeah, this game is from 1999. God bless. 
The music is very intense. Um, what about this? Uh, classifying fingerprints. I don't think we have to do anything with fingerprints in this game. It's not until a couple games later that we have to worry about that. I don't know why they gave that to us. And I can't click on anything on this shelf, so I don't know why I can look at it. Um... And Braille. This will help us to solve that other code. Remember, there's a code um, in Braille. Also by the in real time audio. Sorry, are the levels okay? I can me I can mess with levels if if they're cringe. <laughs> Already looked at this. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. We're playing Nancy Drew. Secrets can kill. It sounds intense because it kind of is, but also kind of isn't. It's a very old game. Oh, it's a word search. Diner. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. It's a word search. Pharmacy. Um. Other words. Uh, stuff. It's a word search. Toe. Yeah, I see the word. Diva. Somebody diva. A drum. Hey, whoops. Remember this game now? My second grade teacher had it. Remember my friend Hannah would always hog and never let me play? Yeah, it's frustrating to watch somebody play this game, like, if you're sitting right next to them. Uh, but it's fun to be able to solve the puzzles together, which is why I love being on live. If anybody remembers, I covered uh, this game and the sequel, the second game in the series, in, like, normal videos, like, a year and a half, two years ago. Um, and I decided that trying to play them live in this kind of setting would be fun to do, like, all of the games in order um, as I get more into streaming, because that way I can... I just feel like it's it would be a fun setting to, like, have everybody try to solve it together. May, Diner, Hulk. A is a word. There's lots of those. Yeah, it's a word search. Um, oof hurting my eyes to look at. I think you're supposed to read the blue and then the green. The bolt cutter you must take or wait, what did it say? Hang on. Or you could be the next Jake. So it's like, hey, Dumbass, get the bolt cutters or you're gonna die. Cool, got it. Got, get, get the message. Beer. The word search is a message, but I don't know which words I'm supposed to be looking for. It's just giving me random words. Pharmacy, Hulk, uh, diner, something, something. I don't know if it actually spells out like a congruent message. Oof is correct. The game literally was just like, hey, do this or you'll die. Sports today. Diana Ball is a steroid and was one of the drugs stolen from the drug depot. Oh, okay. So the drugs stolen from the drug depot were steroids. Um, so I guess that's um, pointing the finger at Hulk because he's the, the football player. I guess he's doing steroids. Unfortunate. Drugs from the Drug Depot. Yep. One eight hundred got drugs. It was drugs. He should have just said no. See, the posters didn't tell him what to say no to. How was he supposed to know? Poster could have been about anything. Okay, let's look through the massive. There are a massive amount of random books to look at. This is an optical illusion book. 
this is a face in a face or it's a glass. This is, I don't know, Florida or something that isn't Florida. I guess it's supposed to look like the tail of a whale in the Americas. Um, no, all these games are rated E for everyone. The 90s were just built different. Can't you read it round and round or am I misremembering? No to drugs and murder. No to drugs and murder. I don't know if it's supposed to be the tail of a whale. I don't know what else it could possibly be. It's like, look at this optical illusion. It could look like two different things. And I'm like, this is just Florida and then South America, isn't it? I guess it's supposed to look like something else. I can't read this. It's too tiny for me to actually read what it's supposed to say. Just say no to murder. Yeah. Jonathan Frakes did show us this vase. I forgot about that. I love that callback. Yeah, these look like faces. They're not really a clue. It's just like a don't believe your eyes type of thing. Word search isn't a word search. I mean, oh, you're supposed to read it. Okay. I'll go back in a second if I if I can. It's not like none of the puzzles tell us anything that we like definitely need to know. Just nice to know them. The psychology of violence, frustration, anger, hatred, paranoia, prejudice, powerlessness, and that's it. That's the psych that's the facts. Psychology of violence. All right. Like spilled ink. Oh, that just made me think of uh, Epic Mickey. Anybody play Epic Mickey back in the day? Let's go over here. Let me actually do this whole side. Let's see any stuff here? What about here? Hmm, palmistry. I don't know anything about palm reading. Do you guys? Handbook. I wish I could read that. Good luck at work, Patrick. Thanks for stopping in. Have, have fun. Have a good day. Played the 3DS Epic Mickey for not very long. Yeah, I played it on the Wii back in the day. Not good at puzzle games. It's okay. We have a collective hive mind in the chat. You feel old. It feels like a new game. I know. I remember when the hype was all about Epic Mickey. Like, it was, like, the new game, and now I feel old. The game came out, like, more than a decade ago. Seeing, like, um, YouTube keeps trying to recommend to me these, like, playlist videos that are, like, songs that'll make you feel nostalgic from your childhood, and when you click on it, it's, like, Gangnam style, and I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 am I that old? Am I so old that children are growing up and remembering Gangnam style from childhood? I hate that. Came out when I was in high school. Zodiac. There's a lot of pu puzzles about the Zodiac, by the way. In the Nancy Drew games in general. I don't think there's one in this game, though. They're the legend of starting one of the streams. Maybe. I know, right? Gangnam Style. Like, that... It... Yeah. It came out, like, 10 or 12 years ago. But I guess now there's like a whole generation that's like, wow, remember the good old days when we were children and listening to Gangnam Style? Wild. What about the Zodiac? Feel free to shout out your Zodiac in the comments, in the chat. I'm a Capricorn, if anybody cares. 12 years isn't really that long ago. It is just, it's funny. I just keep getting these videos recommended to me and I'm like, why won't you leave me alone, YouTube? Protecting the manatees. Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, shout out. You were 10 and your mom showed you the video on Facebook. Yeah, I remember... I remember my cousin showed me Gangnam Style, and we thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. My, my, my younger cousin was, like, obsessed with Gangnam Style. It was catchy, though. 
Libra, Gemini. Shout out. Air signs. Let's see. I know there's other books here. What are the other ones? Do, 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 do. Here we go. Dream interpretations. Released in 2012. Yep. Yeah, 2012, I was like, what? 15, 16, depending on when it came out. My birthday's at the end of the year. It was probably 15. Sai, that was his name, right? I think he went on to, like, release more stuff. He came across my t TikTok feed not that long ago, and I was like, wow, that's a blast from the past. Shout out. Criminal justice system. Strange books to have in just, like, a generic public school library, I guess. Don't run, Nancy. 27 G's. Hey, I mean, you know, it feels like just yesterday to all of us, but also the past two years have felt like 30 years all by themselves, so I feel it. Boiler operations. Okay, this will come in handy, kind of. We're gonna have to mess around with the boiler. Long story, I'll show you later. book can I? Oh, judo handbook. All right, let's learn everything we can about judo by looking at pictures of people doing judo. That's how you learn, like, athletic things, right? Oh, he just teamed up with one of the guys from BTS. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad he's still doing stuff. I don't know anything about him personally, but always liked his songs. They were a bop. YouTube Golden Age was 2010s and 2014s? Possibly. Kanji is for dragon. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so in this game and then in uh, two games from this, you know, sometimes they'll use Chinese symbols and like, um, I remember back in the day there was a little bit of controversy in the community because the symbols never say what they say they say, if that makes sense. Like, whoever did the translation did not know what they were talking about. Uh, like, in this game, that kanji symbol is supposedly for Crane, but I totally believe you that that's incorrect, but that's what Nancy thinks it means. They tried, but they didn't, I guess. Oh, the crane one is- oh, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. It's a different- you're saying... Got it, got it. Cool, 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 cool. I'm caught up. But no, yeah, two games from now, I do remember there was a little bit of a... a stir because people were making fun of them for not actually knowing any of the uh, Chinese characters like they were supposed to. Handwriting analysis book. I've got terrible handwriting. I'm also left-handed, so that's my excuse. YouTube Golden Age 2000s to 2010s. Yeah. OG YouTube just was a different vibe. Haunted House. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has never ever has Nancy ever traveled outside the US and solved a mystery elsewhere? Yes. At a, after about nine or ten games of going all the way around the states, they start sending her to foreign countries like almost every single game. She goes pretty much everywhere. She goes to the UK, you know, England, France, uh, where else does she go? Ireland, Scotland, New Zealand, uh, Canada. She goes everywhere. She goes everywhere. 
the Bahamas, Hawaii, which is in America, obviously, but, you know, she does go to Hawaii. Um... What am I supposed to be looking at here? Can I click on anything? Sign language! Hey! I love sign language. I've been studying for years. She goes to Egypt and Japan, too. Yep. Tintin's been to space? Oh my god. Scotland and Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greece. Yeah, she's been everywhere. Lots and lots and lots of places. Uh... uh Germany, too. Anybody remember the game where she's in Germany? That's a fun game. It's a creepy game. Mm, CW plus EG. I think that's Connie Watson and Daryl Gray. I think Connie's doing that thing where she's, like, crushing on a guy, and she's like, Oh, by the way, does anybody remember when I did a video about the Vampire Diaries game? This was the game that they made before they started making Nancy Drew games. It was terrible. It was so bad. It was so, so bad. I made a video about it ages ago when we were getting into spooky season, and it was so laughably bad, and I loved it. I mean, I hated it, but I loved it. All right, I think I found all the books that I can find. I'm going to get out of here and go back and talk to some people because I've kind of done all the kind of found information and now I can take it to other people. Terrible is the new good? Sometimes. Seeing the dev. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Vampire Diaries game is a whole experience. I feel like I went through all of the emotions. Um playing that game and trying to get that video done. And I just remember being so concerned. It was such a bad game. It was also so old. They don't sell it anymore. I had We had to, like, find it in the archive, like, online. But it was so old and it was just so bad. Like, none of the puzzles made any sense. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Oh. Drama. We have drama. Connie is Jake's ex. Connie told Suspicious. me study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. Oops. There we go. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Talk to you later. Farewell, Nancy. So Jake was not a very likable dude, is what I'm picking up on. No one seemed to really like him that much. Yep, he was interested in video. I think that's why he had the video camera in his locker, I guess. Because, you know, maybe he was part of, like, the AV club. Nancy's walking around everywhere. Magnifying glass out in front of her. Yes. And a Sherlock Holmes hat. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? I relate to this, but see. Did Jake died. Yes, Jake is the guy who was murdered. Um, Jake is the guy that they found dead, and that's the mystery that we're solving. Who killed Jake? You would never know because everybody talks about him like. With no reverence. They're just like, ah, that guy died. That sucks. Oh well. Like, it's just like, damn. Savage. Oh, she didn't want to talk about... Okay, calm down. Just wanted to talk. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Yeah, when it says you could be the next Jake, they're literally saying you could die. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I gotta go now. Later. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. So I guess we're supposed to find her very suspicious, because her ex just died. No, you do not get to attend an autopsy in the game. That would be metal, though. She really has to go. Stands exactly still where she is. Okay, where am I going? Let's go talk to Hulk. Um. How's it going? 
What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Hmm, tough time? I heard she's been having a cash flow problem. Death must be very common to have everyone be so desensitized. Yeah, everybody's just kind of really cold about it. They're just like, well, Jake sucked. I don't care. It's like, damn. Huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake Rogers. Nancy is so interested in the idea that he has even one fan. How was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Okay, so Connie used to date the guy who died, and also Hal used to be friends with the guy who died, but they had like a little friend breakup, I think is what we're getting at. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? Where'd you hear that? I'm as strong as ever. <laughs> Just dumps out of conversation. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Jesus. Back off, Nancy. You back off. Tell me about the robbery at the drug depot pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? Oh, the corn scorn secret lover. Ooh, maybe that is drama. They favor. broke up over the girl or else. they 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 stopped being friends over the girl. Bye, Nancy. That's rough. <laughs> I love I'm not into pushy girls. Bye. Bye, Nancy. It's just like I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Bye. I'm out of here. You're not out of here. I'm out of here. You're just literally sitting there tossing a football up and down. Don't lie to me. He is an ass. I love that I had to approve that message. Even with the dollar signs, it was like, I think he's saying ass. You might not want that in the chat. Video camera has a video cassette tape you could play on the TV's VCR at Aunt's home. So we couldn't find the VC. We couldn't find the VHS. We found the tape, like the case for it, and we found the camera that it was on, like that it was recorded on. But we couldn't find the actual tape. We need to find that. Game about a murder, like the others, and end with Nancy being threatened. About arson, theft, missing people. Yeah, most of them don't deal with murder because as an E for everyone game, it's hard for them to get away with that. Later on, there is another murder game, but I can only think of this one and one other one off the top of my head. Please stop talking to me. Bye. Bye. Yeah, pretty much. Usually the cases are like missing jewels, arson, um, art thievery. There's a couple of kidnappings. Welcome back, Paul. Um, Jake is not a very likable person. We found out that Connie is his ex and Hal used to be his best friend, but they stopped speaking the day before he died, apparently. Yeah, there are literally four students in the school. Actually, there are three students in the school that we can talk to. School's empty. Like, there's no one... Why is everybody at school and nobody's in class? I don't understand this. Wizards of Waverly Place. Yes, um... Oh, Warnings at Waverly Academy. Yes, 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 yes. Such a good game. Love that game. Um... Everyone. Jake? Oh yeah, that bitch. Pretty much. That's exactly the way that they give that kind of attitude. It's weird. Sorry, I know I'm hunching over my phone. I'm trying to read my chat. Wondering if you could give a shout out to my friend David. Hey, David! David's usually in the chat too, right? Yeah, David. I'm pretty sure David was in the chat when I did all the Nancy Drew readings. Shout out to David. David's the best. Um... Have I ever played? Yes, I used to be obsessed with the Wii games in middle school. I was very good at bowling. I even played a Nancy Drew game on the Wii. Yeah, yeah, David's super cool. Um, shout out to David. Shout out to you, Tilly, and thank you everybody for being here, honestly. I really appreciate it. 
Classic from my childhood was Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. Ooh, love that. Thank you, this will make him happy on the replay. Oh, I'm so glad! Shout out to the replay friends who are watching it back. Obviously make sure it's available. Okay, what can I do now? Seem to be at a... Oh, I know what I can do, I know what I can do. Um... Side of school, remember? We're gonna... We're gonna kind of do a breaking and entering thing. It takes place mostly in a school. There's a diner and a house, too, but mostly a school. <laughs> Shout out to Avery for being awesome. Aw, thank you guys. You guys are always so sweet. As well as the Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga was my jam. I don't know if you guys watch uh, Eddie Burback, but he has that side channel with his brother um, where they review video games and they did a whole video about the the Star Wars Lego games and it is so funny. My brother and I we're so nostalgic for that game. Breaking entering when we see. Oh, oh, are you talking about the guy are you talking about the the guy Jeff Tucker from the from the book that we read? Yeah, so there was this really like fun character who like I, I, he was so strange and hilarious. Yeah, Jeff. He, like, was so unhelpful. Nancy had to talk him through getting her out of a locked closet. Is the box cutter going to confession out somebody? I'm sorry, by the way. You're about to hear some scratching on glass. I don't like it. Just a heads up. Hate that, but Nancy cuts a literal hole in the in the window and just lets herself in. So now. Yep, she literally cut her way into the window with a box cutter. And I guess no one's gonna ask any questions about that. Nancy's just gonna frame somebody else and move on. Are those donuts? I want a donut. All right, so we have now broken into the teacher's lounge area. I don't know how Connie can't see us because this is the door that literally leads out to where Connie is. Um, what is this? Oh, you read the first letters. This says Tanaka Cheats. So I guess that's the towel's name, so. Was also an unlocked window, too. To be fair, I think it was a locked window. I think we had to cut our way in to unlock it from the inside, but yeah. Clearly, there had to have been a better way. Was there no way to pick this lock and not damage any property? But yeah, so this is telling us to be suspicious of Hal, which I don't like, because I like Hal. Ooh, we've got 16 people in the chat. I love it. Streaming is something that has taken so much time for me to be comfortable with the idea of, much less doing it, so thank you guys for being chill. I really appreciate you guys. Any cans of grape in the fridge? I can't look in the fridge. I wish I could. I want to go in the fridge. Nancy was going to go through the hole. Yeah, she shrinks down really tiny like Ant-Man. Nancy Drew could be an Avenger. That would be a great spinoff. Oh god, what does this say? Can anybody even see? I don't even know if you guys can see this. It's so small. Clancy Brew would be more creative. Yeah. A trophy was not the only prize, but a. What does it say? This looks like an A, and then an L, and then an S. So, someone... CW, CW, CW. Uh, not the, not the, uh, TV channel CW. Uh, Connie Watson. <laughs> you like the streams? I'm so glad! Yeah, we're gonna be streaming our way through all of these games, and so we'll have lots of time to play our way through these. I know the first two have their own videos on the channel, but those are really just, like, um, video essays about the game, so this is a way to just kind of play and solve puzzles in real time.
but also oh but also money of a greater size okay 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> everybody everybody drinking on their their extra day off I'm not. I'm just drinking seltzer water. Oh, sorry. I forgot. It's it's gin. So, yeah. We're all drinking. <laughs> X is way too small for my eyes. It's really small, and I'm sure it's showing up on stream a little less readable, but even to me, I can barely read it. Okay. What else? I think I missed something over here. Uh, This is sign language. Hand uh, finger spelling. C was innocent. Okay, right. so Connie's not the murderer, I guess? I'm supposed to fill out this part? Or know what that's supposed to say? But it says C was innocent. Green tea, lemonade. Nice, 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 nice. Green tea and lemonade are very good. I actually have, it's peach seltzer water. Uh, with no gin in it, unfortunately. Oh, this is Hal's file. This essay looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Connie's innocent for now. Okay, so this is a big clue because do you guys remember the English essays book that we found in Jake's locker? Nancy remembers that this was from that. So Hal literally lifted this essay from a book of famous English essays and passed it off as his own. So he's a cheating cheater that cheats. So Definitely not as bad as being a murderer or anything, but I guess we're supposed to be suspicious. See, this is a periodic table of the elements. That also comes into play quite a lot in the Nancy Drew games. Whoops, there's something I wanted to look at before I look at that. Now cheating from the most conspicuous source and succeeding, I know. Nancy does not have a file because she's not actually a student here. She's undercover. Uh, her aunt is a librarian here, and she was like, Hey, someone died. Can you come and deal with this, please? And so Nancy's posing as a student, but she's not actually a student. E4, U, C, D, N. Before you see the enemy, examine the... Elevator. Okay. What a silly code. That's so funny. Can Nancy use a Ouija board might make things a little easier, no? I know, Nancy just needs to learn how to make some friends on the other side, you know? Right, now Hal murdered Jake because he was found out and out of desperation killed him. Good theory. Is there a Nancy game straight out of the books or vice versa? Yes, there are a few... Book, uh, a few games that are based off of books. This one is technically based off of a book um, from the Nancy Drew Files that came out in the 80s on the same name. I think the next game, Stay Tuned for Danger, also based off of a book. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Secret of the Old Clock, Secret of Shadow Ranch, they get their own game adaptations too. I'm gonna go now, catch you in an hour or so. Bye, Cameron. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, so yeah, so they do sometimes adapt the books into games. Um, some of them are just original stories thought up by the development team, but sometimes they do uh, take inspiration from the actual books. Okay, so what did we learn? We learned that Hal cheats and Connie may be, might be innocent. Maybe. But we're not sure. Hi, Nancy. We're just gonna drop a truth bomb. Jake knew you copied your essay. I was like, don't you dare freeze. English essays, didn't he? Don't you do it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Oh, so Jake was really just he was really um, 
kind of sketchy, wasn't he? Blackmail, straight up. Blackmailed his best friend. let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. Yeah, so the school is definitely overworking Hal. Hal needs some help. Poor Hal. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. What else? Modern medicine do? textbook. He knows how to stab someone. <laughs> Jack the Ripper, he had medical knowledge. God. Terrifying. He must be taking, like, was he dual enrolled in, like, pre med? He's in high school. Were you desperate enough to kill him? Nancy does not mince words. Situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake. Oh my god. Even if it takes the rest of Okay, my Hal, it's really okay. I mean, you just copied one essay. It could be a lot worse. It's not that big of a deal. He also didn't, like, cheat on anything to do with medicine. Don't tell people he value. Don't tell people he values human life. Yeah, he said he values human life, which I would hope everybody does. Gonna go in and out of the stream and make some uneducated guesses. Oh, this Catholic guilt. Hal is very, very hard on himself. I feel bad for Hal. He's just like working his ass off, and like he just he didn't even cheat. Look, he didn't cheat on like anything to do with medicine. He just cheated on some like bogus essay assignment. I think it's fine. I think Hal's still a good egg, unless he's a murderer and then he's a bad egg. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. Interesting. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Talk to you later. I must go now, Nancy. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So, Hal was being blackmailed by his former best friend because he cheated on an essay test once. He copied an essay once, and his former best friend is now blackmailing him to do all of his homework for him, on top of all the work that he was already buried in. Jake did kind of suck, didn't he? Okay, uh, can I talk to anybody else while we're what here? What is it you want now? Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. Gosh, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy's like, hey, where on the street is your broke? Is that like... Is that like chill to talk about? Talking about mine. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. It is a pretty invasive question. Am I hearing thunder? It's like massive storms just rolling into my area, and that's what I'm hearing. I feel like I'm hearing like thunder. If anybody can hear that on the other side of the stream. <laughs> what about animal life? Oh, I see. I hope he also values animal life. Animal life is also life. The murderer? He was the first suspect near Jake's brutally murdered body. Could, could be. Honestly, it is a little suspicious. And he apparently had some kind of connection to Jake that he doesn't want to tell us about. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Okay. Bye, Bye Nancy. Bye, jerk. I wanted to have a better comeback, but that was that's all I got. Um It's Hulk isn't like a copyrighted thing that they couldn't use. You know what I mean? Mistake stab. Uh so Jake Um in in ter in keeping it uh stream safe, Jake was um propelled down a very long flight of stairs. If that answers your question. Cause of death was stairs. Let's 
save, just in case. I think I have to switch. Yep, I have to switch. Yep, face first. Very tragic. Whoop! Streamception. Sorry, I gotta switch my disc. ISO. Big fella seems like it. Yeah, he was kind of a jerk, apparently. Jake was not a good person. I mean, it doesn't mean that he should have died. It doesn't mean that he should have been murdered, but... I guess he wasn't super innocent. This is why Columbo writes everything down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later on in the game, Nancy gets a um, various forms of a journal where she writes down uh, important information so that you, if you forget it, it's still there. Infinite Avery. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know it's probably messing up the stream. <laughs> I just have to to toggle back and forth. All right, Daryl. My number one detective. Oh, we can talk to Daryl about like a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry, I need to give everybody a warning before we see the infinite stream. Sometimes I just have to switch between discs. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Well, I know the guy can scarf down half a dozen burgers at a time. He's the best linebacker ever to play for the manatee. He half a dozen burgers? To play wow. Ball next year. That's a lot of burgers. Hmm, <laughs> I can ask manatees? College football? Uh, college I don't know why football? that's a question Hulk's that Nancy needs to ask. A great college football star, and then play for the Miami Dolphins. He lives and breathes football. Isn't the aren't the Dolphins like no no shade, but aren't the Dolphins kind of like a mid team? I don't follow I don't follow um football, but like aren't the Dolphins like the Dolphins never win the Super Bowl <laughs> or go to the Super Bowl? All the hamburgers. I've seen her around, but we've never had a class together. Does anybody remember the Jimmy Neutron game where vaccine. Carl is a giant and you have to feed him burgers until he shrinks back down? Yeah, it, they they use the most talented dolphins that they can find uh, and train them to play football. Baker's does not six and a half. Very mid. Okay. Why do you think she's never been to the diner? I'm not sure. She's very private. I mean, I I don't follow sports, but I mean, uh, Atlanta's teams are never like uh, great either. Hal so that's not throwing shade. It's just his just is what it is. Really he uses how because his Japanese name is. We always do all right until like right before the playoffs, and then we we throw it. Play. And he's obsessed with getting a college scholarship. Poor guy about a college scholarship doesn't everybody want a scholarship like college is pretty unaffordable without him these days a college scholarship i feel sorry for him because he's missing out on all the fun of high you school. said atlanta's team yeah yeah, yeah yeah i'm in atlanta and our teams are not good either yeah. commiserating with any oh, dolphins yeah. fans that might We're exist out there jake he had information that could jeopardize hal's career connie once Same. dated jake and Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. Oh, you thought I said Atlantis is. I wish I lived in Atlantis. You either hand the case over to the police, or keep pressuring each of them until somebody cracks. Oh yeah, Nancy, I just remembered. Some guy dropped off this note for you. I think it's important. Dolphin fan the animal. I'm also a fan of dolphins as the animal. Okay, sorry, I'm talking over this, but some random person left us something? What the hell? Who? Wait, did I miss something, Paul? What happened? I'm so confused. I was reading the chat and I got completely lost. I follow, but I think Braves are good for in half entries. So the Braves recently did just win. Um, Atlanta Hawks are all right. They are sometimes. Yeah, they're probably the most. Actually, our soccer team is actually the probably most talented out of all of our teams. Um, pressure this cook. Okay. Um, wait, I want to ask about the note. A note? Yeah, it's right here. It must have something to do with the case. Did anybody hear that? What was that? I heard another voice. 
It was so weird. Was Jake interested in judo? You're kidding, right? The only physical thing Jake did was to think up new ways to get other people to do his work for him. What do you know about the break in at the pharmacy? Well, the police thought it was a prank. Is that a is thinking a physical activity? Like Daryl, I don't then think thinking is a physical activity. A drug missing. I think it was a steroid or something. Okay. So everybody's sketchy. It was a ghost. I wasn't hearing things, right? Though like there was something See you, There was like some weird wait. How can I help my didn't you say there was didn't he say there was a note for us? See you later. Take care, detective. Say there was a note? How can I help my number one detective? See you later. See you, beautiful. He said there was a note. And then he didn't give it to me. Where the hell is my note, Daryl? There it is. I was like, if that's a bug in the game and I have to redo that whole conversation, I'm gonna be so sad. I don't want to be in college, just personal opinion. Oh, no, 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 I didn't go to college either. I, I see what you're saying. I'm caught up. Um, Must have been a blooper. Maybe. I never caught that before. Yeah, I never went to college either. I think college is sometimes overrated. <laughs> I ended up going into the industry and sh shockingly didn't need college for that. All right, I have the solution to your mystery. Meet me in the boiler room. On a scale of... um. Wily Coyote Trap to, uh, um, I don't know. I was gonna say like what kind of how bad of a trap do we think this is gonna be, but I can't, um, I can't think of a, a proper analogy. How bad? How sketchy do we think this is? This is sketchy, right? We're, we're gonna die, right? College, college, or university? Um, Wily Coyote. Yeah, this is this is gonna be like a massively. This is gonna be like one of those like Scooby Doo booby traps, I think. Um, wait, is there something? Meet me in the boiler room. That's it. Okay. Meet me in the boiler room. Okay, I guess we're going to the bath, the the boiler room. Nothing good ever happens in the boiler room. It's true. The note is written in Greece. Ugh. Unsettling. All right, everybody ready for Infinity Stream? Sorry, avert your eyes. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Wait, hang on. Wait, there it is. There's my thing. Avery, Avery and Eddie. Grace's comment. I don't, I don't, maybe Daryl did write it. Maybe, maybe like Daryl's just saying, oh, some guy dropped it off and it's actually Daryl. That's possible. Okay, so back at the school. We still need this um, code though, right? Oh, oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to do something big time. I forgot to look on the computer in the... In the the teacher's lounge, right? I totally just my brain just completely noped out and forgot to do that part. Remember earlier on we found the um, the login. Nothing important or personal that shows up when you switch to that. No, no, I don't. I really don't. Uh, I made sure that I wasn't gonna like dox myself or anything before I got on live because I knew I'd have to switch. But thank you. I appreciate the concern. Yeah. Just boring files and editing. Uh, I don't know if you were in here earlier, but Da Vinci started up by accident. So I was just like, oh, look at that. It's the video that I'm trying to put out tomorrow. Everybody gets a sneak peek. But yeah, I already, already made sure that there wasn't anything that was going to be uh, my personal information or anything. Uh, let's 
Let's see. All right, so we got into the library, uh, got into the computer. What am I doing? All right, I'm looking for codes. Maintenance to-do list. This, this, oops, something's printing. Something's printing. Here we go. Maintenance room, note. So the code is note. Boyd opened my eyes, Nancy killed Jake. Not all elders are wise, yeah. Oh, wise elder is a scramble of Eloise Drew's name. I'm pretty sure that's why it's, that's her password, which is probably a bad password. It's either like the worst password in the world or the best password in the world, I don't know. But, I don't know. What is this? Box from Dylan HVAC services left in boiler room. Interesting. Uh, observe, young man. Uh, so somebody was pulling a senior prank. After hours. Interesting. Note noted. Okay, so the, the password is note, and we need to put it, put it in in Braille. Let me go check the... Check. <laughs> Key. I really should have... I think I remember what it is, but for the sake of doing it live, I'm just gonna refresh my memory. Nope, that's Morse code. I don't need the Morse code one. Where's the one about Braille? Nope. Where is it? Braille. Wait, what? What's happening? What about dolphins? I'm so lost. I missed something in the chat. Something's going on in the chat that I missed. And I don't know if I'm, I need to know. Okay, one, two, three, so note. I really should have a piece of paper to write this down. I think I remember it though. Let me just go... I don't want to know. Yeah, I feel like I don't. I'm just gonna let it slide. Just gonna let it go. Thinking happy thoughts. Nancy Drew. Puzzle solving. Uh, other things that are happy. I think about Braille. Braille is cool. That was O, and then T was that, and then... Yeah! I did remember! Oh, we're talking about... Okay. It's, you know, it's fine. I'm just gonna... It's fine. We're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna... Whoop! That down. Do, 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 do. I love... How I can never remember how to get back to what I need. Thankfully, after this one game, I don't have to do this anymore. For this one game, I don't have to toggle in and out. Um, all right. So, I feel like something bad is gonna happen. You see, this is why I don't eat fish. You know, I it's not really my thing. Reasons, fish, things from the ocean. I think we should just leave it there. You know, we should just leave ocean things to be. Oh boy. Okay, I remember this. This is rigged to explode. So, I'm gonna have... Excuse me. I'm gonna have to work very quickly. Let's see, 
I've got gloves. And this is the way that I'm supposed to set it so that I don't die. So let me take the bolt cutters. Cut this off. Because I'm never going to know what that is. And then this is one of those puzzles where like... I did it! I did it! That was really easy. I thought that was going to be a disaster. Yeah, this this game originally used two discs. I have it all on ISOs, but yes, the, the hard copy of the game is two discs. And everything else is just on the one. Um, two are used for this game, and then after this, like, I think there were always two for installation purposes until, like, way later on, but you don't need to switch anymore after the first game. This leads down to a void of nothingness. I wish I could go down there, but alas, I cannot. Uh, what else? Established 1967. Cool. Don't really know why I'm supposed to care. What's this? A bucket from Maxine Diner and a matchbook. 555-3784. Someone remember that. 555-3784. When I was a kid, I was known for having a pretty good memory, so my mom would just be like, Hey, Avery, just remember this for me, and it would be like, uh, something that we needed at the grocery store, so like, it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like, instead of using like, before the, before like those apps, like the voice recorder apps where you can leave like voice notes for yourself, uh, that's, that was, that was what my mom did. She'd be like, remember this for me. Five, 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 three, seven, eight, four. Three, seven, eight, four. Alright, so we're stuck because somebody, I don't know, they disabled the thing. You'd think Nancy would know how to fix this, but I guess they just completely cut the wire. So we're stuck. We can't go out through that elevator. I think I got everything I need, so we're going to go out through this vent. How long is the average gameplay time? Uh, this game, yeah, a couple of hours. Uh, this game is actually a shorter game. Um, I'm kind of taking my time and doing, like, every extra little thing that I don't necessarily need to do because I could probably beat this game if I was trying to in under half an hour, but I want the stream to be, like, a normal stream length. So that would be kind of boring. I think we're getting close to the end while we're here. Do I have to switch again? Okay, good. So, I know I was talking and I didn't really make a big deal out of it, but we got the VHS tape. The missing VHS tape? I found it. Yes, we found the VHS. Yeah, we've been playing for like two and a half hours. I'm, I'm really going out of my way to stretch this one out. It's going to get a lot. The games are going to get a lot longer and it's going to turn into a situation of me trying desperately to make sure that I actually can beat the game in one go so I don't have to do two streams for the same game. We'll see how it goes. No, it's not like 8675309, but that's in my head now. All right, you guys ready? Movie time. This is Jake's, uh, I believe this is his blackmail tape. All right, so I don't know how he got this without Hulk seeing him, but Hulk stole some steroids. Inspector Gadget. Um, yep, and Connie was the secret judo wizard. And wow, that is a much bigger book than the book that that book is so much bigger than it actually was. That book looked looked huge. How did he get coverage? Okay, but he saw Hal cheating, so that's that. Ooh, I'll answer that question, Paul, in a second. Ooh, don't smoke, kids. What's Daryl? Daryl's... Is Daryl running drugs? Is that what's happening? This is an Inspector Gadget. I know, this is not as fun as Inspector Gadget. Okay! So, Jake had 
info on everybody. He had lots of blackmail. I don't know how he managed to get all the footage that he did, but he did. If Jake wasn't such a horrible person, and if he was still alive, he and Nancy probably could have been like a duo solving crime, because Jake was like on top of it. Wait, wait, yeah, same. I know, so, yeah. Nancy doesn't have a reflection in the TV. Nancy never has a reflection. She's like a vampire because they never want us to see exactly what she looks like. It's like a thing. There's literally times where she stands in front of an actual mirror and there's no reflection. Uh, when's the next whodunit video with Natasha? Hopefully soon. Um, Natasha, um, yeah. What are we on? We've done five episodes. We need to start episode six now. I'm really excited for that episode. It's going to be terrifying. After whatever he needs. Daryl? Yeah, I want- Daryl's clearly doing something illegal. Did you see that, like, drop-off? He gave him cash in an envelope? That was super shady. Well, I want to go talk to Daryl now. Back in ten minutes. Of course he is. Okay, so the game's not going to let us talk to Daryl until we talk to literally everybody else. Yeah, the Wax House Nightmare episode of Who Done It. Nancy being a vampire is my headcanon. Mine too! They did the Vampire Diaries before this. Maybe Nancy's secretly a vampire. It's all connected. Have we not all done illegal things? I mean, not judging. I'm just, in the context of this game, Daryl has no other motive to potentially kill Jake, but if he knows that he's doing illegal things, maybe that's his motive. Where am I going? Everybody's at the school. Of course I have to switch the discs. Ah! Stop popping up with my widgets. No one cares. Oh yeah, void. Void of death. Void of death. Void of death. Void of death. I'm watching it back a few seconds on replay, and it's quite terrifying. Hmm. Interesting. Have I ever done anything illegal? What a time on a live stream to think about this. I mean, I've watched some, um, you know... Uh, Hulu shows before I had Hulu in a less than um, through Hulu way, so I guess that's technically illegal. Piracy is a crime. I never... I, uh, I watched all of Game of Thrones without an HBO subscription. That's probably a crime. Oh, it's you. Not a hardened you. criminal, I'm though. Really embarrassed to see you again. Talk to you later. See you later, Nancy. But, like, fuck big corporations in capitalism, so... 90% of your games are prior to as a child. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck capitalism, so... Don't really feel a whole lot of remorse. Okay, so Hal really has nothing to say, because we've already kind of confronted him with his big news. What is it you want now? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all shoplifting is good. Yeah, this one right here, officer. No, I'm just kidding. Of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy. Never to shoplifted. Proud of what I did. Shop. Lift the whole shop off the off the ground. Crime it ended like it did. Okay, so keeping sorry, focusing my ADHD brain that never wants to focus back into gear. Connie is the secret uh, masked judo winner. She showed up like a female Zoro and just slayed everybody. Just heard somebody open my door and then close it again. I think they forgot that I was on live. <laughs> Shout out to my family. I love all of them. Wasn't he? Okay, okay. Jake was blackmailing me. Why else would I have gone out with that slime ball? He was cruel. 
Oh. He to humiliate me in public. Oh no. Everyone, I was his black belt babe. He blackmailed her into dating him? That's so sketchy. Poor Connie. I very, very bad vibes about Jake. I now see why everybody hated him. Shoplifted one time and it wasn't even intentional. I had a chocolate bar in my back pocket. I've done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like when you like you get out to the car at the grocery store and there's like a little something on the bottom of the cart. Yeah, I think everybody's accidentally shoplifted. Black belt babe is a skeevy term. Right? Jake was so sketchy. Damn. Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? The prize money is a lot better in the I don't know why they went out of their way to make us not feel bad for the bad for the guy who got murdered at all. I don't know why they thought that would be better. You know what? Good for you, Connie. You didn't do anything wrong. So Connie's basically explaining that there's gender discrimination between the two leagues, because you know how uh women don't get paid the same amount in sports as men. So there was way more money to be uh, won in the men's division. So she dressed up um, and concealed her identity and competed and won in the men's division. Connie is a girl boss, for real. Like, she literally just jumped in and and uh, won. I wonder how they knew how to uh, who to give the money to if she... If her identity is concealed. But anyway, yeah, yeah, she did gender discrimination. So she, you know, concealed her identity and entered in the men's competition. So really, you know, she and Hal have not done anything that bad. Really, in the in the grand scheme of things, I, I don't think they're hardened criminals. Unless one of them is a murderer. Whatever it takes, even murder. I don't condone murder. Even if Jake was a slime ball. Jake was threatening to expose you, get the prize money revoked, maybe even make you lose your black belt. <laughs> Those are a few. Is that the plot to she's the man? I think so. I didn't kill Jake. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye. I'm gonna turn you in. Crazy. Don't be a drama queen. So as a kid, I did not notice how fucked up. It, like I knew it was. I knew it was fucked up. But like, he was blackmailing her so that she would date him. That's so fucking gross. I know Jake isn't a real person, but damn. Ugh. 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 Gross. I hate that so much. Okay, let's go confront Hulk. They removed the part in the remake. I think you're right. I think they did remove it. They were like, ooh, that's a, that's a bad, that's a bad, that's a bad. We shouldn't have done that. We shouldn't have put that in our children's game. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Hey, I know you stole drugs. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. Well, wow, people in this school sing like canaries. Nancy doesn't even need to bring edit. <laughs> just tripped over all of my words. Nancy doesn't even need to bring forth evidence. She's just like, you did that thing, right? And they're like, yep, I sure did. I did that thing. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Ugh. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. Needed to impress the scouts. Oh. And I started taking steroids. It wasn't worth Plump, it because that's I was very, still very sad. My free time was spent playing I hate that. For Jake. How do you think Trump got most of his wives? Damn. I mean, you probably right. <laughs> Yeah, people suck sometimes. Truly, truly, people suck. Aaron boy? The last thing Jake had me do people have the Darren choice Bright. to be great, and some of some people him. are great, and some people just suck. Too. Okay, Jake had him deliver a note to Daryl Gray. Oh, okay, so he... Okay. Bye. 
financing. So he was using the guy that he was blackmailing to blackmail another dude? Harsh. Everybody had something out for this guy. This guy was the worst. Okay. So now we've talked to everybody but Daryl. So can I talk to Daryl now, please? I need to know about Daryl. Was he running drugs? All right, are you guys ready for the void? I'm gonna give you a second because we're gonna need to go into the void for one second. He decided to be mid. Feels like he's had his 10 minute break. Yeah, it definitely feels like he's had that 10 minute break. Nothing truly great, but nothing truly evil. I mean, that's just, just, you know, my philosophy is don't be a dick. <laughs> you know, just be a good person. Just don't, don't be. Don't be the worst. I think that's perfectly acceptable. I'm ready for the void. Are you ready for the void? Void. Hello, void. Nope, that's not what I want. I want this. All right, we've all made it through the void. Is everybody okay? Everybody all right? You better talk to me, Daryl. I literally went through the void for you. I know, it was scary, but I'm proud of everybody for being here. We're all very brave. How many times do you need to insert CDs? Hopefully not that many more because we're almost done with the game, but I do know that right at the end, they just like pour salt in the wound by being like, hey, I know you're like three minutes from beating this game. Switch the disc 14,000 times. Maxine's Diner where they serve good coffee. What is it from Phineas and Ferb? Where it's like, all bunions where the food is fresh, but not too fresh, eh? Isn't that like the thing? Isn't that the jingle? I loved Phineas and Ferb. Good coffee. Sorry, I'm doing that thing where I read my chat instead of um, playing the game. Although I think these games are another reason why I like playing these types of games on stream or because I have lots of opportunities to read this, the chat. Uh, if anybody was here, if you guys were here for the Cuphead stream, you remember how many times I lost a level because I uh, distracted myself with the chat? The ADHD brain is real. How can I help my number one detective? All right, you're in deep shit, Daryl. You better start talking. You were supposed to be my contact. I know he was blackmailing. We're supposed to be honest with each other, man. But it didn't have to be like this. Only we said something worth reading. I'm glad that each and every one of you are here. This would be so depressing if I, like, was streaming and, like, nobody was in the chat to talk to. That would be so sad. Wish we'd met under different circumstances. Please still be my girlfriend, even though I might be a criminal and a murderer. Give me a... Give you a heads up about the void so I can... You can take an edible. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll give you the heads up. I'm sure that's a trip. Drugs? Trade secrets? I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, offered me a way to make some fast money. I needed the cash for school next year. So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. But then Mitch threatened me. He was running drugs. The 90s really were built different. Yes, okay. So you guys remember early on, we found that clue where the, the green letters in the one book spelled out Mitch. The killer is this guy that we've never met before named Mitch Dillon. This is my biggest fury with this game is that unlike all the other games where the murderer ends up being somebody or the criminal ends up being somebody out of the pool of suspects in this version, the game's just like throwing you a curveball and being like, hey, the, the murderer is actually nobody. It's a different person that we haven't met yet. Which infuriates me to no end. I know they change it in the remake. They change it in the remake. And I think they also make sure that Daryl isn't 
running drugs in the remake. Because they were like, oof, maybe we should make it a little bit more kid-friendly than that. I think he's he's selling something else that he shouldn't be selling, like insider trading or something like that. But, yeah. Isn't that infuriating? Can I just, can I just complain for a second before we go any further? It's not how it works. It's usually the first suspect that is the one that did it. Right! And so every other one of these games that you're going to see me play, um... The bad guy is always a guy that you meet in the game. So, like, I, I, this infuriates me. This game, they were just like, what if the murderer is nobody? What if it's just a secret fifth option? Yeah, Gordon Ramsay isn't a drug dealer in the remake. I love that we're just, con we've just accepted that he is Gordon Ramsay. Like, he just is Gordon Ramsay. This is Gordon Ramsay from a parallel universe. So, yeah, the murderer is a dude named Mitch Dillon... Um, because in case you didn't, in case you weren't paying attention, because I was talking over it. What if Daryl's swerving you? Spoiler alert, he's not. I've played this game before. Even in the remake, the murderer is like a weirdly suspicious new character. True, 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 true. We'll get there. You know, we'll play that game when we get to it. That'll be several streams from now, but. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're thinking of the remake. In the remake, they kind of uh, they kind of switch it up a little bit with the murderer, kind of. Um, but in this version of the game, all the other games, you're going to be able to like guess who the bad guy is from the people that you've met in the game. And this game is the only one that doesn't do that. And I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed with this game. Mitch Dillon rhymes with villain. Yep. It's okay. This chat gets exclusive spoilers to the rest of the, the the remake of the game. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? I don't know. But Jake was always getting into something. So Jake business. was trying Maybe to blackmail Daryl. Uh, and he didn't realize that he was getting way in over his head with a bunch of um with like a drug cartel or a guy, Mitch Dillon, who was selling drugs. And Mitch killed him. I guess he decided because he was about to turn him over. That was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Mitch is totally capable of it. Did Mitch also leave that note for me? Absolutely Mitch, ridiculous. See, you have no idea what kind of This is not how it works right on Murder She Wrote. Mitch Dillon has nothing to lose at this point. Do yourself a favor and go to the cops. Hmm, I don't think the cops are going to be that helpful. We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder. <laughs> I care about you, Nancy, and wish you were We all had this conversation on the other live stream. The cops are never helpful. Nancy always has to do everything by herself. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. Okay. See you later. Bye, Nancy. So here's the plan. When have the cops ever been helpful, A cab? Yes, that, but also. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, so here's the plan that Daryl and Nancy have devised for themselves. This guy, Mitch, who is a drug dealer, killed Jake, and Daryl has to do another drop off for him later tonight. So we. Two teenagers are going to corner a known criminal who has already killed somebody. And we're just going to hope for the best. And so our job right now, because the first time I played this game, it is not clear what you're supposed to do. And I walked around and was super confused. What I have to do is go back to the school, which means, yes, switching the disc again. And I have to ask all of my... Uh, fellow students, even though I'm not a real student, hey, you want to help us catch a murderer? You want to, you want to, um, you want to risk your life for us, please? Could you please? That would be helpful. That's what I have to do. That's now my task. Um... So, yeah. So, everybody, I'm going to give you a few seconds uh, to get ready for the void. Uh, while I make sure that I'm caught up on chat. Don't want anybody to be scared of the scary void.
Everybody, hold on. We're going for a ride. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Didn't expect the game to be so different when we started. Yes, it's very different from the remake. Heard they remade it because of audio issues. The audio issues are bad. The game mechanisms are just bad. It's from 1999. All the other games at least had the advantage of being made in at least the early 2000s. When the technology for these kind of things was taking off. So yeah, it's a lot different. Um, and so yeah, for that reason, I will be playing the remake uh, when, it be when it comes time in the... Um, in the near future. I'm going to go into the void now and get it over with. Just so that nobody's anticipating it longer than they have to. Uh, void state. Do this. Um, and back. Yeah, so I'm going to play the remastered version when it gets to be that part of the... Um, you know, I'm going to play them in order, so... I'm going to play it in the order that they all came out. No, I'm not playing all of the games now. That would take multiple, multiple, multiple days. Boy, he's better than Disneyland, and I've never been to Disneyland. Uh, one of the infinite Averys waved at us. Hi. Every Avery is happy to see you. Thank you for joining my stream. No, I'm not gonna I'm not streaming all of them in a big marathon. I might be tempted to if it wasn't for the fact that I have 12 hour limits on these streams. Uh, but no. I'm um I'm gonna give a stream. I'm gonna try to keep each game to a stream. Um, some of the later games might need a couple of streams to get all the way through. Um, one, because they're long, and two, because I don't know how to beat them off the top of my head. Um, but... I'm interested to see the next game, because the premise sounds fun. Yes, the next game we get to be on a soap opera. Nancy Drew is undercover at a soap opera. Very fun. Um, yeah, maybe I could, like, stream... Maybe I'll stream tomorrow night. Maybe that'll be the thing. Um, so yeah, there's like 30 something games and they're all a decent length of gameplay. So my goal is to stream through them as quickly as I can so that it feels like a little marathon. And obviously the VODs will be up so everybody can watch back if they want to. All right, let's go ask for some backup because we got to go catch a murderer. I've been streaming for three hours. Oh my goodness. I'll have to focus a little bit better tomorrow on the next game. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. I talked about this in the video I made uh, way back when. She asks the exact same question every single time. I'm pretty sure they didn't even bother to use a different soundbite. Pal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades, or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. Alright, so Hal's out. I don't blame him. Thursday stream... It does sound like they just edit the character's name. Yeah, it does sound like they just use the same thing and edit in the character's name. I haven't ever actually played Salem. I heard that it wasn't a super great game. It was kind of boring, uh, but I have never played it. I own it, never played it. Um, yeah, I don't know when the streams are going to happen. Um... They, they'll probably just happen when they happen, and, you know, I that's why I leave the VODs up after I stream, so that no matter when people are able to watch it, if you have an interest in watching it, you know, there's a replay crew there, so... Um, and right at the homepage of the channel, so they're easy hey, to find. Nancy, need something? Kitty, I'm being visited by a cat. Connie. We're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. Uh, I wish I could, Nancy. I Come on, you're a judo now. prodigy. Just around the corner. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament. And then Daryl will love you forever. To to college, if that happens. 
I'm just sorry, it's Rachel. So I'm like, she shot. I'm gonna watch the videos to see my own comments pop up. <laughs> I mean, this is that's cool. <laughs> I appreciate the watch time, whichever way it comes. You'd be helping out Daryl Gray. This is so hard for me. I've been wanting Daryl to notice me since I was a freshman, but I've come too far to mess up my chances of getting into college. Girl, I get it, but like, please? What if I said please? Daryl's life is in danger. He really needs your help. This is starting to get really intense. I don't want to get involved, even if it means I would get the chance- Ooh, to NBA Darryl. finals. Cool. I had no idea that was a thing that was happening. I'm super not in the loop when it comes to anything sports related, but that's awesome. Go sports team. <laughs> All right, Hulk. Come on, Hulk. Bub. I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Calm down. I just need your help. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move along. Yeah, I've always I'm wanted to sorry. go to Salem. I can't risk getting involved. I've never been. But I'm, I'm sure it's beautiful. Hey, I'm with you, but I can't get involved. There's no way I'm risking my football career. Not the football career. Okay, so nobody wants to help us. It's me and Daryl against the world. So it is time to solve the murder. Let's expand, but the warriors are better. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just reading the comments. Okay, so I feel like I need to give everybody a heads up. This is not a violent game by any means, but there is some cartoonish blood uh, in this last endgame scene. So just so everybody's aware, we are on live. It's not going to be anything bad. It's very cartoony, but I feel the need to give a warning. And it's nighttime now. And by nighttime, I mean it's slightly darker. Yeah, this kid, this, it's, it's not you, Paul. The game is a little bit confusing. Uh, okay. So, is everybody ready? I'm gonna have to switch the desk, disc again, so we're gonna have to go into the void. And then there's gonna be a very cartoonish, uh, but slightly, uh, gory scene. But it's nothing bad. Game's gotten too scary. Is it okay to hide? Yes. <laughs> All right, ready? We're going into the void. Who's ready for the void? The void's fun, right? Everybody loves the void. Do, 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 do. Why is it down? That's not... Wait, do I want volume one or volume two? I think I want volume one. Not thy Christian eyes. <laughs> All right, let's go. End of game sequence. This is Mitch, the murderer. This is Daryl. So he pulls out a gun, but then Connie comes to save his life at the last second. And so I have to grab the gun and point it at the bad guy. You're surrounded. It's all over for you. And that's it. Just like that. We're okay. And Mitch is on his way to prison. Daryl's recovering just fine, and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to oh. pay the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal got his scholarship. So Connie and Daryl did end up together. And Eloise got a letter from a friend. Something about a television station in Death Threats. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy. No, don't worry, I'll be careful. So yeah, that is a shout out to the next game. Oh, and we are hearing the Nancy Drew rap. I forgot they play it right here. Um, yes, I'm all of my streams. If I if you ever miss a live stream, any of you, if you go to the home tab on the channel, um, I have all of my vods of all the streams get uploaded automatically as unlisted videos. They're in a pinned playlist on the home channel. I do that just so that it doesn't clutter up the main feed with a bunch of live streams so that everything looks organized and everything can kind of be separate, but yeah. Um. 
Yeah, 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 it's not very violent. It's just like a little bit of blood, but some people are really squeamish, so I just felt like giving everybody a, a heads up. I, I know some people in the original video were like, ooh, blood. Hate it. Uh, very profesh. Thank you. Uh, missed the reading too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go to the homepage. It is all there. You can replay all the live streams that I've ever done. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing more of these streams. And yeah, you'll always find them right there. Uh, so shout out to the replay crew who's gonna be maybe watching this back. Um, that's the end of the game. That was crazier than the Rewig. Yeah, the 90s were built different. There are, like, things in this game, like, the whole, like, drug runners thing, like, they did not want to put that in a children's game when, you know, 10, 11, 12 years had rolled by. And they were like, oh, maybe we shouldn't talk about this in a game for children. Maybe we should make it a little less, you know? When I've done all the games, will I go on to solve IRL and solve crimes? I just become an armchair detective on YouTube. I just go into the true crime community. Remake ending is pretty lame, TBH. Yeah, the remake ending is insane. I, we're all talking about the remake ending and now I just can't wait for all the people who have never seen it to see it because it's, it's so weird. Um. But yep, that's the end of the first ever game. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope everybody who has watched or is rewatching it had fun. Thank you guys all for being here so much. Um, I'm gonna try to do the next game tomorrow night. Um, and I should also have, um, it was fun. It was fun, I love these games. And no more switching discs in the next game. Yay! Um, yep, next game is the soap opera game. That's quite a trip. Um, it's also a game that has its own video on the channel, so... Ending seemed like the vid got turned into two speed, two times speed. Yeah, it's a really quick ending. It just ends, like, with whiplash. Next game, Day of the Tentacle. <laughs> Next game is Nancy Drew. Stay tuned for danger, and it is a wild ride. Uh, I believe this was the only game that they remade. I need to join right as I'm wrapping up. As soon as I end this stream, it'll be um, on the home page on the list of past live streams. So feel free to go back and watch if you want to. Um, this is the first game in the series. I'm going to be streaming all of the games, and the next stream will probably happen tomorrow night. Um, I'm also going to try to get out my new video for tomorrow. So there should be a new video out and then a stream out tomorrow night. So keep an eye out for all of that stuff. I'll forget and watch the replay of the stream. If you guys want to, I always, I would, I love, I'd love uh, all the, all the watch time that I could possibly get. I'm always, I'm always thankful. So if you feel like watching it back, um, they're going to be available, so yeah. That's it for this stream. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I'll also have a video out for you guys tomorrow. So I'm going to run, but thank you guys for being here. It's been really fun, and I can't wait to play the rest of the games. It's going to get weird. This is a crazy series, as some other people in the chat, I'm sure, can tell you. It's such a nostalgia trip. Oh, and if you want to see the videos that I did, the video essays I did about this game and the second game, you can watch that on the channel, too. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys really soon, okay? Whoops. I'm going to go into the void again. Here we go. We're in the void again. <laughs> but thank you, guys. Oh, my God. This is really trippy. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Uh, let's go to full cam because I don't want to look at that anymore at all. Good night, everybody. I'll see you in the next stream. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.